I have feelings for my wife's sister. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay. She lived with us for a year. And when she moved out, it felt like a full breakup. <laughs> what the fuck? Is How that? do I get over a girl that ain't my girl? <laughs> wow. What's up, friends? Welcome back to I Eat in Friends. My name is Saul Gomez. My name is Caesar. My name is Air Bear. Did you hear Bobby and Drake smashed? Sup I allegedly, heard. supposedly. That's what I heard. Allegedly, That's what I heard. Supposedly. Would you have smashed Drake if you were in his bed? No sus shit. Just no one found out though. I 100 like no, but I knew. <laughs> I think it was like 100. <laughs> hell yeah! I was like, yo, really? So <laughs> Episode knew, 123 about to be wild. That shit was too sketch that they're on the same bed. Yeah. They for sure, they're, you know that dude was bricked he, up. He was, he he was, was, like, he was grabbing her for, for for sure. He was bricked up under the blanket. 100% he does like sure. young girls, so yeah. Is so, she young? No, I'm saying you, oh, never, you never hear like those allegations against like Millie Bobby Brown and shit. No, not allegations, but like they thought he was being a little too close to her while she was still like you know not 18. Nah, I don't know. Like he was trying, he was saying like he was like a mentor to her and this and that. Blah, blah, blah. So it was like it was like kind of like he was grooming her. Weird vibes. He's like, oh yeah, I, he because she remember she was like talking about like how because they brought up Drake and she was like, oh yeah, you know Drake texts me all the time. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, and it was just like. Damn, bro. I don't yeah. know, bro. Damn, imagine if Drake texted you all the time. Kind of cool. You know he's trying to smash. If you're someone as Drake that powerful, you know you can fucking smash anybody you want. Well, she is an industry plant, yeah. so it doesn't matter. She's not an industry plant. She is. She's not. Everyone even says it. She's not. There's no way that your second episode, third episode ever, and then you have Drake. Like, no. It's just the, the power of TikTok. It's connections. It's yeah, the power of TikTok. It's Remember, connections. She had no. She had no connections. It was literally the power of TikTok. She saw her shit. This is how it started. I don't know if you know her whole story. Because, you know, she's made a lot of interviews about this because everybody's calling her that. So she kind of said how everything's done. So she said she's been doing she's been on TikTok for a long ass time. She's been doing yeah. videos for a long ass time. And so she asked her fans who can get me in contact with a comedian, uh, Funny Marco. And then so she got the the show, the episode with Funny Marco. And mm -hmm. that show was funny as yeah, fuck. That, was that show was funny as fuck. And I think even I don't know if Funny Marco has already some connections with Drake. But it ended up on Drake's for you page. Mm -hmm. And he saw it. And he thought and that was funny. That she saw it. She hit he hit her up. Yeah. Yeah, and know. they make that and they made that happen. Mm -hmm. And then the rest, once you become friends with Drake, you have the whole world at your feet. Whoever wants you can I'll make a video with anybody. Of, which yeah, is what connections. Yeah, yeah so but she's not she industry on her own. Yeah. From her own words though. We don't know that's the truth though. But why why Because then she also said, Oh, I'm in so much debt. And it's like yeah. how? She is. That's the thing. Cause I was literally I was literally just listening to the Mr. Beast episode. Mr. Beast. He was also like when you're coming up. Like, yeah, your views, you get a lot of, you're getting a lot of views, you're getting a lot of money, but you're currently broke because a lot of those payouts are till next month, mm -hmm. till like 60 days. So that's what she was saying. She's like, yeah, I'm low key. I'm broke right now. But once that month clears, then I'm set. Once the 25th clears yeah. or whatever that is. So yeah, she's literally just been getting viral this past month. So she's getting all the views, but she doesn't have the money yet. Once that mm. month hits, now she got all the money. So in like three months, she's going to be whipping like a Ferrari. Next month. Mm. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. The little Yachty episode. Like, oh, yeah. little the, 21st, the 21st. The 21st. Yeah. Room, room, room. yeah. So, I mean, I like her. I think she's funny. I know she's. I know that they've said that she's playing like I, a persona. She is. So no, I get it. It's, I mean, a it's funny. It's yeah, a persona. Yeah. And it's funny. I don't. I don't. Uh, I feel like it's already overdone. Why are you? Why are you a it's Bobby hater? That's why, why you no, Bobby hater. It's overdone. The first girl. It's the third episode. Why are you a Bobby hater? <laughs> no, that that John that like style. That sarcastic. Deadpan, sarc like sarcastic style. What like it mean? was done by that British white girl. I do it to Aaron. That, like he gets interviewed mad. KSI. No one cares about the UK, bro. Yeah, they're not. Part she of was the, the first US. viral one though. But that like that literally made that style. Yeah, but not Drake, made it. But I'm saying like Drake wasn't on that. Or Lil Yachty. Yeah. Sorry. Who is the biggest one? They got Jack Carlo. That's Jack Carlo's cool. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> mid ass <laughs> rapper. <laughs> I just, I guess, pers like in, in my opinion, because this is all opinionated. Yeah. It's like, I've, I don't think she, it's just, she does, for me, she's not funny. It's like, not who does it first. She's not perfect at that, that, that yeah. like, do, do you, um, really character. Do you really it's not who does it first, funny? it's who does it best. Yeah, but she doesn't do it best at all. She, come on. Come she got Drake. She got Drake. Got Drake bro. <laughs> the accolades like, are there. Dude, because the comedian was fucking hilarious. His responses were hilarious. Yeah. That's why the episode's funny. But they're playing off each other. Stop That's glazing the them, bro. It's Stop. A, Stop glazing them. You're, you're the opposite of glazing. You're, you guys you're, you're are mad glazing, glazing right now. You're removing it. You're just glazing her. Sees, I'm appreciating When it's like, it. all I'm just saying is she's not the best at it. I'm just saying, I bet if it was a guy, you'd be glazing him. Fuck yeah. Hell 
yeah. So I'm not saying. If it was a real that Bobby. That is 100% fact. If that fool's if name, name, was name was Robert. Yeah, if his name was Robert. <laughs> if his name was Robert, I'd be like, this guy's the funniest yeah, guy he's ever. He's a genius. He's a genius. He's the next Dave Chappelle. Why do you hate women so much? You know what? Let's talk just about it. Sometimes, about you know, that. just it grinds my gears. It's well, going to grind your gears more. About, it's going to make you hate Bobby even more. Yeah. So suppose, well, I don't hate her, guys. Relax. Okay, so this is what happened. So when she did that Drake episode, it was her son's birthday. She, okay. she ditched what first? It first was like year? her first year of birthday. Well, like, yeah, in the episode she said. But again, yeah, we yeah, don't know yeah. if that was a joke. Yeah, we don't know if that was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. But but all right, so <laughs> supposedly that happened. All right, so that's one. And this she's uh engaged. She has a fiance. That's cool. And supposedly at the night of the Drake oh well, supposedly, I don't know if it happened allegedly? that day. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. So I don't know if it happened that day they filmed that, which okay. she did go to Drake's house. With a nice little top. And they were in the bed together. Come on, Ty. You know, Drake was breaked up. Like, if, you know, oh, I would be okay, up. there's a scenario. Well, I'd, it depends if no one was filming it. Like, if they just had, they like, the just how we do it, then, But Drake, I mean, Drake can do the little snap, snap, and everybody clears. But what if it was, like, her but, team? But remember, I doubt, she doesn't have a team. Oh, cool. So, okay. so remember, I, I've always, I've always asked girls this question. I was like, would you ever cheat? No, never cheat. Okay, but what if it was Drake? Okay, yeah, maybe, only because it's Drake. You That's know, crazy. you've heard that many times. I've heard that it's that celebrity hall pass. Yeah. And now she's got the opportunity to fuck Drake. She's literally there. She's in there. Bed. Do you take it? You know? Like, for example, who's your who's your celebrity crush? Oh, I have two. Uh... And the most out of reach one, you're like, oh, oh, fuck both of them. Salma Hayek and Sofia Vergara. You're in Salma Hayek's bed. But yes. you have a wife and some and kids you have at home. A, you have a, yeah, you have a girl. And, yeah, no. and she's like starting, she's starting to like feel yeah. your thigh. And you know you'll never ever get this opportunity yeah, ever maybe. again. She got white. And she's on. hitting on me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you fucking? Are you folding? What's more important though, in the long run? But no one will ever find out. I mean, we found out. Yeah, but then I'm gonna have that guilty <laughs> ass conscience. See, so it's because he's a man. He's a good. He's a good loyal. As man. much as I'm gonna be like, I want to say fuck yes yeah, so damn bad. But if I have a loving family, bro, and I don't want to lose that family, and I don't want to be fucking in this custody battle and fucking lose half of the shit that I have, I'd rather not just risk it, bro. What would risk you it do? for the biscuit? What would you do? I would. Uh, I he's, would a, not. he's just a loyal man. You wouldn't either. I would not. It's if a I hard. It, but I ain't gonna lie. Even though I want to say I want to be loyal, it is kind of a hard no when that's like you're like, and she's yeah. fire as fuck. If like, I had Margaret Robbie laying at, laying out like in the Wolf of Wall Street. You're gonna have a, some kids and a and family she does that at home. Thing when she does that thing. Ah. Like she, puts, she puts her heel on your forehead. You know like what? You know what? <laughs> I don't know, you about know that what? one. My wife would understand. <laughs> My wife and kids <laughs> know she wants. I love you. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. it. But you see, yeah, I just wouldn't do it because I think men are just loyal. Yeah, I think I think we understand that. Yeah. You know who you isn't know loyal? Women I've met that I've you cheated. You know who isn't loyal? Women. I don't know. Oh, but, he said. No, nah, I didn't say shit. So real quick, going back. So same thing happened. So she goes. So Bobby, she goes to Drake's concert. Um, I, of course, she goes backstage. Next thing we know, uh, she deleted all her videos that Drake was in what? on social media. What? And she deleted her YouTube video with the Drake interview. She deleted it. Her most viewed, her biggest fucking accomplishment for any, any fucking influencer coming up to make a video with Drake. She deleted it. And they unfollowed each other. So what happened? Now check this out. He puts her in the condom and she didn't like that. Uh, check this out. <laughs> Same thing happened. Said, uh. Same thing happened with Ice Spice. When Ice Spice was blown up, uh, uh, Drake started song? interacting with her. She, he invited her to the show. The day after the show, they both unfollowed each other. What is going on? He's just a dude who part. You think? Not, I think he's just part. Not, not, not confirmed. Like, I, if if that's like if this all adds up and it, what it seems like from the outside, seems like it's just part just a dude who hits on every fucking girl that he just wants to hit on. Yeah, and, but, like, but but he has that power as in he's a celebrity. He's one of the biggest like fucking artists in the world. Mm -hmm. Um, but he probably doesn't have like that that type of game. He doesn't have the risk. He's probably just fucking <laughs> awkward or up, just like. <laughs> Or his his whole thing is, hey, what's up? I'm Drake. Like, let's fuck. Yeah, yeah, probably. Like, he's come spoiled on, bro. with it. Kind of, kind of like when you have, a, kind of like when you have like a girlfriend or something, and like you spoiled with it, and then you get out of it, and you're like, oh, I don't know how to talk to women because exactly. before I'd be like, oh, I'm just your boyfriend. Here's my dick. Yeah, yeah. Do something. Damn. Touch it. Touch it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little gummy if you worm. want to. So I think that's what's going she on. She has to. So, so she either. does not have to. She does not have to <laughs> touch your wiener, bro. So either touch my wiener, Aaron. So either Drake is forcing himself onto these women after his shows or 
You ready for this one? What? What is it? What's your theory? He is the introduction to the Illuminati. Ooh. And like, yo, like it's you want to join us? You can have that everything. Be, and if not, you're gone. Boom. That would be one of the quickest introductions to the Illuminati I've ever seen in the industry. Ever. Yeah. If but, she's not in the tree plant. But she plant. got pretty powerful. If she's not in the tree plant, then that's one of yeah. the quickest fucking intros of all time. But I mean, they see something nowadays, like people see viral, they, they want to pick it up real quick. And you know, Drake, yeah, but Drake, Drake doesn't need to do that. Drake is all about that. But you know, Drake needs souls to feed his owls. Just like so he allegedly needs, Beyonce and Jay-Z. Yeah, so he needs Bobby's soul to feed to his owl. Because I don't know if you've heard any what like owl? OVO. The OVO. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The OVO is an owl. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if you've heard about the, the OVO thing. I have no clue. But, is this a conspiracy? Well, because no, no, supposedly but, like the mascot for like the Illuminati or like those higher up owls. powers, like the meetings they have in the woods yeah. in like California. It's, a, it's an owl. It's, it's a big owl. ass statue of a fucking owl. All so these, is EDC? Yeah. So, yeah. So, <laughs> so all these people, all, these, time, all these powerful people are worshiping this owl. And check this out. Oh, now we're getting fucking crazy. Dog. Have you seen the fourth kind? The, the alien movie. It's been so long. The alien so movie. Long. You know what's all around? You know what's the whole like theme of the fourth kind? Owls. Oh my god. Owls are the people who are fucking controlling the world. And you know what's crazy? Uh, this is blowing my mind right now when I'm sitting here. Yeah. At EDC, the owl is the main stage, right? Yeah. And you have hundreds of thousands of people just worshiping giving energy. It. Worshipping the Worshiping owl. the owl. You're giving all your energy when you're you're literally in the well, most vibrant part of your day, like just giving every energy, even you're if you're on the, drugs. You're remember, the owl remember, it's not the owl, but it's the artist. But the artist is the the um, artist is the the is biggest the, artist. The, the it's the, the, it's the what do you call it? It's the Powell excuse. Cooking. It's the like the. Like we all think we're like we're like fucking grooving and energy, um, giving energy to like the DJ? artist DJ, but no, he's just the, the owl. He's no, the he's, facade. He's yeah, yeah. he's it's the, the reason he is in the Illuminati because the well, allegedly. Let's just, allegedly. Make, let's just make allegedly. this fun, right? Allegedly. Let's make this fun. Let's make this so all fun. Right. Okay, yeah. the biggest artist. <laughs> Why did you sound like that? Because because I'm fucking around and these people need to understand. I know. I know. I know. Because we do no. Now we do know a big DJ. We are connected into that world. So let's make it fun. He's Illuminati, right? That's kind of cool to say even out loud. All right, but go on, go on. Right. Okay, okay, okay. The biggest artists are the ones in main stage, right? So those are the people that are going to bring the most crowd. But why did yeah. they get there? The Illuminati. So now they have to feed. They have to their feed. Bird. They have to feed their energy to the owl, uh-huh. yeah. which is the people. Yeah. So and check this out. Whoa. If you if you see any OVO interview, if you see any OVO interview and people ask that OVO member what's the owl, they're like, oh, psh, I'm nothing. Like they, they they either like tense up. Or they don't answer that question. No one answers the meaning behind the owl. Well, they just act like, oh, well, I don't know. They just put the owl. It's a cool bird. And then, oh, yeah. they'll say something like, I guess because, you know, they're smart as fuck and they're Yeah, wise. but the owl, is, the owl signifies something that we just don't understand I, I, yet. I think in Mexican, like, witchcraft and stuff, the owl is like a witch or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Know, like a witch doctor or yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's una lechuza. That's the name of it. Yeah, so owls, oh. owls got some weird power. Mm-hmm. And, and that's your- I, fr- I think it was, uh, by the way, I was, check out the ECMO podcast. I was just on there. I think they're the ones that told me about this, that one of the guys didn't believe in like the supernatural or anything. I think it was Joel who told me this. He didn't believe in the supernatural, but then he said he had a friend also who didn't believe in the supernatural. And he said he went on a trip and he came back fucking psyched and different, like a whole different person. And he's like, nah, bro, like everywhere I go, I see an owl. Like there's these, this owl is following me. And he's like, I like, yeah, he was going crazy. He's like, literally everywhere I go, I see an owl. And Joel, I think it was Joel, every time he would hang out with him, he would see the owl too. Oh, fuck. So he's like, yo, this owl is fucking following me. Like, in what sense did he see an owl? Huh? In what sense? Like, like just, a, just a fly, like a bird. Like, wherever you go, there's an owl. And he's like, bro, before I never even fucking seen an owl. And I started hanging out with this dude, and I'm seeing an owl everywhere I go. And then they live like in LA, no? That's weird. Is he an yeah. owl in LA? <laughs> there are owls out there, but they're not. They're not common like a fucking pigeon. They're not just chilling there on the wire. Yeah. <laughs> so we gotta figure out the fuck is this owl? The fuck is I'm the actually, owl? Let me Google what the fuck. Nah, Isn't that crazy? Or I forgot who said the quote, or I saw this on a video saying that evil doesn't. Um, if you don't see evil or like something like if you don't get followed by evil, that's because you're already a part of it. Mm. No wonder they only no try to. Shit. They only try to follow the ones that are good. Because so they're trying to get them to the dark side. It's like infected in Call of Duty. Yeah, they're trying to infect them with the evil. So if you never see evil ever, like or like, uh, I forgot how the exactly it goes, but in that court, like basically, like that's because um, you already a part of it. 
Do you see evil? That's why we left our mm. our contract with, with Warner Brothers. That's why we're back in the studio because they're trying to turn us into the Illuminati. So that's why we're back in the studio. There's an owl right there, bro. But I think that's sad how like everyone's just thinking <laughs> that she like slept with them and it's like, what if, dude, what if they're just cool? No, but why did they unfollow each other? I don't know. Maybe just some altercation. Well, maybe Jake just be and maybe they're both. Maybe they're both just being professional about it. Like, hey, look, it's between us. Whatever. Okay, now but why she get, delete the video? Now, like, I'm at a conspiracy. It's, it's like what, she it. like. I'm pretty sure she's a professional, and she probably didn't like have yeah. sex with them. So you know this, what what this, is what this is what happened. 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 So before they made this video, this episode, Drake said, "I'm down to do this." This is a, this is my own theory. All right, Drake said, "I'm down to do this, but I own your video." Whenever I want it out, it's got to be deleted. So she probably signed that away. She probably signed. She's like, fuck yeah, it's Drake. I'm down. So she probably signed whatever agreement she has with Drake. And then so now, allegedly, maybe Drake was trying to make a move on her. And then she wasn't having it. So Drake was like, all right, fuck that then. Delete all your stuff. See, she also busted a nice spice. Because that wasn't that, wasn't that a rumor that she like turned him down too? Yeah, yeah. He's a munch. So Drake is a munch. So if you guys see Drake on the show, just know one of us sucked his dick, or all three of us. Yeah, but only if the video stays. Only if the video stays. <laughs> <laughs> but we did it for you. Yeah, we, we did it for you guys. I mean, I did it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Drake. Come on, it's, it's Drake. Y'all can't, y'all can't say that. Yeah, yeah. Y'all be jealous. So that that's that was our allegedly thing, and I feel like it's kind of it makes sense. Makes you have sense. a kid. Yeah. Maybe he's just maybe Drake. Have, maybe oh, now that you brought that up, maybe he was blackmailing her. Now be like, well, guess what? We had sex, and you know, you know these celebrities, they like to record everything just to use power. You know, it's the whole Jeffrey Epstein uh, uh, strategy. So maybe Drake recorded a sex tape, or probably just has cameras all over his fucking house. Yeah, and he smashed. So now he has this tape of them smashing. He's like, yo, do as I say, or else I'm gonna tell your fucking fiance. I like your first one more. That one doesn't. That but one you doesn't can really also. You can, you can. You I can. I guess. But I think the only thing wrong about that one is you could definitely sue for that. Yeah. Because you didn't. But know he's that just so powerful. No. But yeah. Not. But you can still sue for you that because the could. fact that you didn't have knowledge of them filming you. But that was in Canada. That's doesn't matter. Who knows? Canada, how Canada, has, Canada, Canada has that same. Canada, I'm pretty sure they no, have that same. Canada, law. Drake owns the six. <laughs> the, not the entire Canada country. He says. He says the fucking mayor goes up to his house. He's like, don't know cussing. Mayor of that city, Toronto, not six. all of Canada, bro. Hey, he probably donates a lot of money to the political leaders. That's all I'm saying. Well, That's so all it you takes. You still get sued. That's I'm all it takes. Dog. She could just come here and then they'll sue them from here. Can you be so powerful that you you can't like? I doubt like there's got to be a state where you're just so powerful you can do whatever the fuck you want because you just pay everyone. Yeah, off. where no, fucking Andrew Tate was at. Where is it at? About, <sighs> fucking up that way. Girl. Where he got arrested? No, he there was a there was a there was a country where he would stay at because Romania, you, Romania, Romania. That's where he got arrested. Yeah, yeah. but under a bunch of other shit. But I think it's yeah. that one. They can do fuck same shit. thing with Jeffrey Epstein. He was able to do. He did so many so much shit that people were like, oh, I could just. But no, he was. Well, that's he was just he so a, powerful. He had a lot of connections. He had a lot of powerful friends, and he probably had a lot of dirt on all of them. Because they all went to the island. You just named Drake right now. Bert, mate, who he knows if he, he went to the six. island? I don't know. <laughs> probably. Who didn't go to the island? I was just hearing the Mr. Beast. The one that hurts when I've heard, because I, I know there's a list, but I don't know who was on that list or whatever, but I know one that's always getting popped up and everyone, now people like don't like him, but not everyone knows that, is, it hurt my heart, Tom Hanks. Oh, yeah. I was like, bro. Wasn't he the first one to get COVID? Yeah. He was the first celebrity to get I think, COVID. I think that he did theory, or of course, it's conspiracy theory, that they did that so people can actually fucking believe in it. Believe, believe in, in it. Because- Tom Hanks is our wholesome fucking king. Yeah. Like, or was he, our he wholesome king. He did fucking Buzz Lightyear, right? He was our wholesome... No, he was Woody. Woody. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buzz Lightyear. Um, Tim Allen. Tim Allen. That's The guy from Home Santa Improvement. Claus. Don't go... <gasps> yeah, in Santa the Claus. Pro, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Also, I think Mr. Beast uh, got invited to the Illuminati. But he rejected him. He rejected but it. Just, because in that... in that, uh, I'm I never late. finished it. It was three hours long. I know. I've been listening for the past two days. I'm so late on this Mr. Beast interview. I love Mr. Beast. Because they asked him, bless you. Bless they you. asked him, who's bless the you. most famous person you've ever met? And he's like, uh, fuck, I don't know, Leonardo DiCaprio. So they're like, okay, what's That's the a fuck? famous dude? Yeah, he's like, how'd you meet Leonardo DiCaprio? And, and then he's like, um, I can't really talk too much about this, but um, I got invited to this place with the most powerful people. The elites of the elites. The elites, the richest, the most powerful the influencers. Definitely made him sign an NDA or something. Yeah. Definitely. And then he says when he got there, there's a bunch of people with assault rifles. 
So yeah, security guards, yeah, all yeah. That stuff, but you know, yeah. security like normal security guard events don't got fucking ARs like that, you know. But when you are protecting all a these bunch powerful of people, one percenters, billionaires, millionaires, yeah. that is true. But I like to go back to think that he was in the woods worshiping an owl. <laughs> you you think it's a big ass castle hall somewhere in the fucking middle? Of the- Everything is connected. <laughs> You're thinking like a they could just be a regular mansion. You know, in Blue Beetle, when there's a big ass mansion. That's what I yeah, think. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's what I think. That's where everybody or hangs out. Or it could have been just a very modern mansion. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, tell you guys right now. Whenever like we get invited to something like that, I'm, I'm spilling the beans. Yeah, y'all finna know. We die tomorrow. We die the next day. Well, fucking congrats! It's on video now. Now no one's gonna invite us anywhere. I'm putting that shit on Patreon though. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, and then if anybody from the Illuminati tries to subscribe on Patreon, I'll just block them. It's like Nicki Minaj. Give me some credit, <laughs> like Jeff or something. Yeah. How you gonna know? Jeff, I've seen. Blood. <laughs> Jeff, I've seen. Jeff, I've seen. Fucking blocked. But yeah. So that's, that's my crazy. conspiracy. These were fun conspiracies. I like. I like. It's kind of sad though that everyone's just like, "Oh, he fucked him." Like, guys, I like the first one. Like, what if? More, like, that's kind of fucked up to say that because it's more like, "Oh, you didn't want to." Like, straight up, like a fuck boy. Oh, you don't want to fuck. All right, take your shit. Yeah, yeah. Drake's a fuck boy, bro. Oh, for sure. That's it. And you've known like he's Drake. Drake. He's kind of like as cool as I think he is. I think he is like a, I think he's like a pick me like a like a crybaby because even Nicki Minaj said in one of her raps she was like, uh, was for the I, don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if my pussy wet or Drake crying and shit. <laughs> I didn't even remember that. Yeah, That's yeah. Crazy. So she said that. She did like a whole. If diss. I was the guy, I'm like, I'm not your friend no more. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Because like he he did simp so hard for Nikki. Yeah, he was a for simp. years, he was bro. A, for years. Imagine the biggest simp of your life. That's now think of him like him a, being a billionaire. Well, he can get anything he wants, and then he gets rejected. What is he gonna do? Hey, no, no, delete the video. Delete the video, Bobby. Yeah. So, I don't know. Shout out to Bobby. Shout out to Drake too. No, oh. yeah, shout outs to her because I'm you like even even though I don't <laughs> even yeah, though I don't find her as funny as you guys do. I'm thinking I think she's decent with what, it what if i took that whole character and ran with it for the rest of the podcast if you forever. did it perfectly i'd be like i don't care yeah, do no. it i do it but what if i did like, it horrible <laughs> i find her i find her decent and what she does for that like you know that, that character wise because there's there better there's people that have been way better than doing it like she's not the best mm-hmm. but like it's i think it's just fucked up when everyone just like automatically thought like oh yeah she definitely fucked him like bro like yeah that is fucked on. up and that's misogynistic yeah it is apologies like not every girl wants to fuck drake relax yeah yeah but like i'm pretty sure if they're influencer or they're in this type of freaking media of course they want to interview drake or have yeah, yeah, drake yeah, yeah, on their yeah. shit of course but not just that doesn't mean that every girl want every wants one, woman wants to fuck like come on bro that is facts yeah Man, that was, that was very, again we're theories yeah. theories and facts uh, i want to ask you guys going to the next topic i'm scared do you guys remember the first time you ever caught some ass? Like you in the like dance floor? Eighth grade. And oh, the girl, I remember. Like she, let me, she backed that shit up. Let me tell y'all. First time you, ca- first time you caught ass. The kid was 13 years old. 13. Dance floor. Freshman year? Eighth grade. No, eighth, eighth grade. grade. Yeah, eighth grade. Ooh. The last like little dance that we did at our school. I remember yeah. her. I just can't say her name because we're still friends. But you know who you are. <laughs> you watched this video. We we're dancing, little girl. and there was it was you know when kid when like teachers would be in the middle of the dance floor so kids wouldn't grind. Yeah, yeah. And she was like arms Let's, crossed, and we were inside like the cafeteria because it was big. So she was like, just go over there. So I literally caught ass hitting. I was like, hey, I didn't even know what I was doing. You guys plotted on huh? it. You guys plotted. She plotted. On she was like, just go over there, like by the plant. And I was like, bet. And then <laughs> she shit. like it, I remember it was a pit, it was a pit bull song, and she was like, God, God, and I didn't oh, know yeah. how to catch it. I was kind of like. Like, yeah. I didn't know where to go with it. She she didn't even know how to use it either. I'm right pretty there. sure we both yeah. it was she, we both See, popped our, our everybody, cherries. Everybody remembers the song that they that they got their first. You're ass right to. there. And you're like you're like we at the hotel <laughs> motel holiday. No no no. no. <laughs> so with the with the yeah right picture of me with the Kodak when when oh, uh, okay. tonight when when it goes. <laughs> it was it was it was it was it was like give me a. Everything you know, you know, tonight, you know, 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 you Everyone's like, what the fuck? That, are that's doing a, that's the song you play drunk as fuck. Or everybody ready to karaoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one you play. You later. Maybe that's the one you maybe play later, later. Because everyone's like, oh, it's nostalgic. This yeah. song's cool. But you're not you playing know, that at the pre. Cool. You're not playing that at the pre. You're not playing at the at the peak of the club. Yeah, you're, not, <laughs> you're playing <laughs> yeah. on the home right home on the car yeah, right yeah. home. 
You gotta uh, play that when everyone's just all like in super good moods yeah. and no one cares. I, if they know the lyrics to the song, that's a good song to play because play everyone's it. just gonna sing it and vibe to it. You can play it at the pre pre game, like yeah. when you're when you're getting dressed and getting kind of ready to yeah. head out. All we're saying point is point. that's not the best song to fucking hey to work it to. That's all I'm and saying. Season, I have a question for you. Give me some skin for that though. I caught it in yeah, eighth grade. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, that you guys middle school dances weren't ratchet like that. Uh, Dude, no. my middle no, school, bro. We were, we were uh, like we as did. sad as it sounds. Yeah. Yes, we were ratchets. Yeah, ratchet. ratchet. For my sixth, seventh, eighth grade year, I remember at the dances, bro. Like everyone was just fucking. Dang, but, like, dang. but we also had the trains. The trains. Like it literally be like I said this before. Like it was literally like guy, girl, 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 and then a guy in the middle between those girls, and then like dude, like it'd be like mainly be like girl trains, but then you see those. T- you lucky ones that be getting that be like we'll skating like multiple chicks bro i see so i want to ask you oh i'm scared now when you did this dance i literally almost busted him i was about to ask you did you nut (laughs) really did you nut did it feel a little wet it felt a little wet i felt the tingle like i felt like the (laughs) but i didn't nut have you ever have you ever like nutted on like yeah bro straight up like (laughs) like, not on the dance floor i have but like (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> what? Pause. That is crazy. Hold on, like, at the dance I remember floor? getting my, my little ween. Wait, what do you mean hard? But I, I remember it being like no, I, not at the dance floor. But I remember being like my dick was hard. But mind you, I was young as fuck. My my dick being hard and I was hard as fuck. And then once it goes back to soft, it comes with a little drip. <laughs> <You know? laughs> it goes. What? Yeah, it gives you a little kiss to your thigh. To your thigh. Sure just a little piss drop or like, something. That was a little drip. Oh, okay. All right, Aaron. When was the first time you got danced on, and what song was it? Because everybody grade, remembers their song. Grade. But but everybody remembers their song. No, song? I don't. You don't sixth remember your song. Year. I remember certain things, but I don't remember the exact song that was on while I got worked. How how did this how did this thing go? We, uh, sixth grade dance. I remember I went last minute because I remember like I lagged on asking my mom if I can go. It was like three bucks to go or four bucks something mm-hmm. like that. Five dollars. You're that kid. Huh, mom, I need to do a project today, like at 9 p.m. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> many projects have been done because of that, like that, bro. It was like 6 p.m. Like, mom, and can we go to the store? <laughs> like this, mom, <laughs> mom. I have a project <laughs> do tomorrow. Shit, um, sixth grade year, I remember I asked late, and then she said, yeah. She and then it was cool because she like, like let me borrow like some like some one of my some of my dad's jewelry at the time, and I was like sick. I had this like fucking chain on. I was thinking yeah. I was all cool, and then I remember um. Uh, what's it called? Went, and then like I said, for us being at that age, bro, it's sad to say that it was a little ratchet. You know, the <laughs> teachers are there, and like they would like sit you down for like grind, like um, for grinding on each other. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people would just like get back up and go do they the had game. Shooters. Bro, imagine being a, well now. Think of you, because what what's the grade that you? Watch yeah. Over? What are you? What are you? Uh, what are you? Well, I'm in a elementary school. So. Oh, okay, so never mind. Elementary. Uh, I have a sixth grade. Yeah, yeah. So I can't imagine these sixth exactly, graders. That's what I'm saying. I can't because I. I guess it's just different times now. Yeah. But I think it's just my mentality that back then we were still immature as fuck, but we were still more mature than they are now. Than they are now. Cause it was super way less social media. Yeah. No, I think I harder think, parenting too, I think. Yeah, I think it's a parenting, but I think like, now at that kids, time I was still getting hit. Yeah, but the younger I think younger kids now are exposed to more like sexual stuff. So I think they like even in like fifth grade, they're probably already fucking thinking about sex and shit. But um, yeah, you're probably right. I got um, but yeah, I think it's weird now. Like, imagine how the teachers feel seeing all these kids just like trying to back it up. I'd cringe so fucking hard. And I remember my that's my, probably why they sit us down just so they don't cringe. Yeah, and I remember my English teacher said, "Mr. Rod, oh yeah, he was like, I don't want to go. I don't want to be no chap. They asked me to be chaperone. I don't want to be no chaperone. I want to see you guys dancing on each other." Yeah. And I was like, "That's valid. That's true." Because I feel like teachers build like that connection, like a parent would kind of to these kids. These, now you're seeing these <laughs> and kids now this, this dry humping, these youngins, dry these girls just bent over here pulling her yeah. hair back. Yeah, and the thing about it, back like those kids, they don't really know how to dance, so they're literally just humping each other. Yeah, my yeah. shit was like, "Can I show you guys on the chair?" I didn't go back here. Yeah, yeah. Can I go back here. That's oh, that all this. Oh. You could just done. You could have just turned yeah, the you chair just around. Turn the chair around. All right. <laughs> All that. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go hide in the little corner. She told me to go hide it. So it literally like it was right here. Yeah. I was like, like yeah, I was gonna say it's either like it's just like out. like like weird like dry humping or just fucking circles or like they're yeah. like you're like you're going up and down in circles. It's weird. I remember my first time was my first high school party. Oh. It was my first high school party, um, and I remember the the exact same song. But I remember this this girl invited me. It was her it was her friend's birthday. And she invited me. She was like, "Hey, you should come to this party." Mm-hmm. And I was, I, I think it was, uh, I think it was sophomore year. Was the party that someone got tased? No, no. Oh. <laughs> I think this was sophomore year, but it's my first high school party. And I call my cousin, and I'm like, 
bro, like, I got invited to a high school party. Like, let's go. He's like, yeah, bro, let's let's do it. And we didn't know how the fuck to dress. Like, I don't, we're like, we're literally thinking of like kids going to their first high school. Like, what are we thinking? And we even remember I was playing the song, um, fuck what song? Tonight's gonna be a good night. Yeah, yeah. Tonight's, Tonight's gonna, gonna be, be a good like we're, like, like yeah, we're, yeah. we're literally in the mirror, like doing our hair. And we're like, tonight's gonna be a good night. And then like, <laughs> I asked, like we gotta ask my mom, like, hey mom, can you drop us off? And she's like, yeah. So she dropped us off. I got a feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we're at this party, right? And it's like, uh, it's uh, it's also like a little family party too. Like, cause it's, it's like at a... Like what are those places called where people have like venues? Like like at a little venue area. Um, so we're all there. There's like tables, all the like you see parents on the right side, all the kids are on the left side, DJ's going in. Um, and then I remember the girl that invited me, she's like dancing and she kinda like looking at me. And then my my other homie, well he's not it wasn't really my homie, but we kinda knew each other. He's like, Bro, just go dance with her, just pull up. And I'm like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> Give me that shit. Yeah. Oh, and then at the same time, my cousin, he, my cousin's a fucking, to this day, he's a fucking dog. He just went out with some girl and he started making out with her. But like So I was just left alone. And then so the dude, he was like, bro, she she wants you. Just go dance. And I was like, what do I do? He's like, just just go back there. Just feel it. Just feel <laughs> it. Just, just go try back to dog. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, all right. He's like, go back there and just rummage around, see what just you find. Like, just kind of like rub your shit there, like. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, he I'm was here. a, I think he was a junior, so he, I, I was, th- I was like, all right. So he, he, got, had, he knows, he knows. He's like, all right, for sure, for sure. And I, like, I just go up to her, and then like, I just get behind her, and I just, <laughs> I, just I just start doing that, and then she starts like backing it up on me. And the song that I was playing was "Man of the Year" by School B- Schoolboy Q. Give uh, the man, the man for the man of the year, yeah. and hands up, and then the man. And I felt like fuck. I felt like the man you of the year. felt like the man of the year. I was like, ah, like, I was just like, ah. <laughs> See, girl, I, was I was fucking. Wet. How was bro. the grind though? How did you did you grab her shit? Like, it was yeah, so hands, good. Did you cro- did you cross your hands though? No, I don't you think so. You weren't I wasn't experienced. Yet? Okay. I, I was just like, I think I just had my hands up. <laughs> I was just like, what? he was pointing to yeah, the sky. Like, like I was, the, I was like, I was the yes, yes guy from WWE. Oh, Daniel Bryan. Yeah, I was, Daniel, I was doing the Daniel Bryan, and it was, I just remember, like, after that was done, we went to to like a different table to go drink water, <laughs> to go drink water, and then right there, I told her, I was like, "Will you be my girlfriend?" What the fuck? <laughs> and she was like, "You she dance like, so good. You want to be my girlfriend?" She looked at me and she was like, "Yes." Oh. Wait, was this? <laughs> Ew! No way. <laughs> Now he knows who it is. That's, that's crazy. How, that's how it happened. She danced on your knees. <laughs> did you did that? Well, I was also short at that oh, time. I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. So I was. So that's that's how that happened. I broke up with her two weeks later. I remember making out with the girl after the seventh grade dance. I kissed her boobies. Her boobies. Seventh yeah. grade. Yeah. yeah we're looking at I remember like after the grade. dance, like we like I, it was like the last hour and a half. Like it was just the last hours or whatever. I remember I started dancing with this other girl, and then um we like. We left like oh well, the dance was over and then we started walking you know like around the neighborhood from the school and like we started like making out certain areas and then i started like we like went to like like a little hidden spot mm. started kissing our boobies like not like she, she didn't fully like you know like the fucking you know the fucking you, you suck cleavage bro okay. yeah, 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 no yeah, i didn't cleavage. suck tit i just kissed <laughs> cleavage <laughs> you didn't get i was in tit. seventh grade bro yeah yeah they didn't know what i was doing but i was just like but you saw boobies, boobies. in seventh grade like full titties or just like the boob- the when cleavage? was the first time I saw a booby? When was the first time you saw a booby? I know you remember. It was young. I think it was middle school. I'm pretty sure. Y'all were nasty. I know. I saw it in eighth grade too. No, I want to say sixth I, or seventh, I, I bro. Yeah, story? I don't know. If sixth I have. or seventh, bro. That's crazy. For oh, me, it was God like the summer. The summer going into freshman year. I want to mm. just go back to my mine was eighth grade, but just... like that last week of uh, eighth grade, mm-hmm. coming back on the bus. I kind of ashamed. That. Saw him right there. You know how my house has like the park, or like yeah. the, drive, the driver right there, and then like the window just literally chills there. Saw some titties right there with my neighbor. Shout out to Ivan. We both saw it at the same time. We felt them at the same time. Damn. And I think my dad might have seen him too because he was watching <laughs> TV inside. He and you like, can, I know fuck? for a fact you he heard us <laughs> giggling and shit. Because <laughs> I went inside and he looked at me and he was like, he gave me like a proud look. He was like, you know what? I'm to be whole. I want to give like anything huge, though, but I got pizza that night, so I think I did good. I want to give a huge shout out to all the like the. It's gonna sound so fucking bad. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I want to give a huge shout out to all the uh, to all the middle school sluts. Oh, yeah. You might want to you might want to re you might want to rephrase no, that. No, middle because school sluts. I like re- it. Well, for me during middle school. So and if you think let's about it, your that. experience. No, let's rephrase that. What would it be? What would it be? Shout out. So, no, you. Say, I'm not gonna say this shit. <laughs> well, I'm not getting blamed. How, how would you rephrase it, Aaron? Just say it. F- your when you were in middle school, <laughs> not 
You literally just said shout out to all the, and then you said it just, and that literally makes it seem but, like uh, but, today. But, 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 but because you need that, those, though, you need those, you know, that's your experience. That's where it all starts. Yeah, they, why can't still, you just start in high school? Because they still exist. When did you start? It, yeah, I, that's yeah, why yeah, I said yeah, I'm ashamed. Yeah. Though well, I like, I, that's why I literally was gonna say before, before I was like, guys. I want to go back when I was younger and tell them like, dude, don't do this shit. I stand with you. Shout out to the middle school sluts. <sighs> Many guys got their first experience during middle school and freshman year, and, mm-hmm. and you know you need those you need those girls. They're part of, they're part of the canon event. You can't just have your first experience like in junior it's senior so year. Think about it. What if I mean, so you can young. think but about like, this kind of event. You see titties and you're like, mm, I don't really like them. It builds, summer school, summer school you. years before freshman year, like I'm actually gay, so like let's go in at it. <laughs> yeah. And now you're fucking your whole life just went from one way to a whole other way. Now you have uh, a bunch of money. Look, you just <laughs> you like don't have. To have it in middle school is what I'm saying. Yes, do it. Hey, yo, nowadays the kids are fucking getting crazy. Bro, you can crazier. see that shit on TikTok now. I think, yeah. you know how hard it was to see my, titties back in the day? My cousin started telling me crazy stories at, during their middle school. I was like, yo, what the fuck? You guys are young. But then I was like, wait, I was, it's pretty wild too. No, but your cousin said, pass on like. Yeah, I said, pass on. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember my, my, first, my first middle school experience. Well, it was the eighth grade into freshman year. It was this girl and we just, me and my cousin just tossed her. She's getting tossed. Kissed her? Yeah. <laughs> did everything. Like we we did all of our first experiences with this girl. That's was like, yo, shout out to her for like teaching us. She had to be the you had she your, had to be your, the, the your one. little middle school slut. Yeah, yeah. So your, shout out to all the middle school slut. Shout sluts. out to all the middle school sluts. If you were one, you You probably have a You did school. good. You did like you're part of some man's like learning experience. And also vice versa. Yeah. And vice versa. Because what if she was like, I don't like being touched by men. Yeah. Like fuck that's it. what we find out. So I hope that wasn't weird. <laughs> <laughs> the way you phrased just, it was I, crazy. I, did you guys have sex ed in like middle school nah, or, or no. elementary school? We didn't have that. Yeah, I think I had mine like in fifth grade, but it wasn't like yeah, I, had I mine didn't see a condom. Grade. Yeah, like, I had mine I never, in fifth grade, and it was just talking about periods. It was it was talking about like what you're gonna change, like your yeah, changes, yeah. like hey, wear some deodorant, you dirty motherfucker. Yeah, it wasn't like this how you fuck. Yeah, or like or like this is how you use a condom. Like it was more like oh, these are you're gonna grow hair here, but no one told me I have an ass hair. I thought I was gonna have a mustache or something. Eighth grade comes, my ass is sweaty. I was like, oh. uh, <laughs> and that was my, I think I played that one on myself because yeah. when I was little, I was like sixth grade, I was playing soccer with some eighth graders, like back in the neighborhood. And I saw some food's boxer, like not boxers, it's fucking shorts. And I was like, oh, why is your ass sweaty? And he looks at me, he goes, once you become a man, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> You're just a little boy right now. And, and eighth grade comes and I was like, fuck yeah. yeah. Once you get, once you grow out of that boy butt and you get this man uh, did, ass. Did, you, did your butt hair grow first before your armpit hair? <sighs> Dude, my face already had hair. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had hair everywhere at that point already. I bro. remember, I remember the one insult I hated when I played Call of Duty. It was like your balls aren't even dropped, and I'll be like, "Man, they're not." <laughs> <laughs> you were smacking them like drop already. <laughs> you were pinching them left and right. Oh, like, it's like they're afraid of heights or something. <laughs> it's funny when I tell people that because like they also don't believe me. Like if you didn't know me, like in elementary or middle school, you don't believe me when I say that. But it's like, dude, I've been, I've been, I've had a lot of hair since I was super young. Can you can you send us a picture of you like in like the first time you had like a face? Send me a hair? picture so we can put it right here. Yeah, so we can see really. I'll when try you had to find old pictures if I can, but <laughs> just, find, just find me a baby picture. And I'm gonna Photoshop a beard. His mom's like holding him by the. <laughs> I just remember, I don't I think you know, I took much pictures. I'm going to get a picture of some random baby and I'll put Heron's face there. Just put a, like, grab, a picture yeah, of, yeah, grab a picture yeah. of Canelo as a baby and yeah, then yeah. put a fucking beard on it. <laughs> I remember though, people remember too, is I wouldn't have my beard for long. Because I remember at that time, my mom would still try to control like when I got haircuts. So every time it would grow back in, like she would automatically maybe go get a haircut, and she would they make them take it all off. She would drive you to your haircut. She didn't yeah. want her little boy she would to grow pick up. your haircut and your beard. Cut no, no, off. like she would <laughs> pick whatever haircut I wanted, but she would always say, "You better fucking cut off that beard." Like you need, like you know. <laughs> I had the uh, I had the Mexican haircut where you let your hair grow out really like till you look like a chichichia pet, and then you cut it real short like you're in the army. That was my that was my that was the Mexican haircut. Just that, yeah, and then buzz. Save as much money. Eight dollars a week. Not eight dollars every eight dollars a month. A month or I had so? The, I had the eight dollar a month haircut. Damn. Yeah. <sighs> well, I, I, forgot, I forgot how often I would go to. My my dad was pretty consistent. I think like every two or three weeks I would get a haircut. Mm. But I wanted I, I, I always got that haircut because I didn't like doing my hair. Yeah. So I think I that food should just let that shit grow out. <laughs> I remember there's one time in I think it was third grade. It was crazy hair day. And I thought I had the most genius fucking crazy hair idea. And I was like, everybody's, I'm going to win. Everybody's going to love this. I remember, I, I gelled my hair down. The left side, I gelled it down. And the right side, I put a spiky. 
And I was like, I look so fucking sick right now. Then I, I walked in all proud. And then uh, the teacher was like, oh, so you didn't decide to participate in Crazy Hair Day? <laughs> I, was like, I was so proud. Damn, she roasted yeah, she you, man. She roasted you, She roasted me. Damn. That is teacher's roast. I think a teacher's roast is horrible, but it's a canon event as well because the oh, whole yeah. class laughs at you. The huh? whole class laughs at you. You've been, you've had that experience. Yeah. What was yeah, yours? I, I, it was in eighth grade. I don't remember too too much, but I only remember that the day before I threw up. I got really sick, and I threw up on some kid on the back of his fucking shirt, literally. And then the teacher goes up and he had like a no Gatorade rule, and he's like a Gatorade in his hand. He's like, here you go, just be careful. The whole yeah. class starts fucking clowning on me. I fucking threw away the Gatorade. Yeah. And I was sat in the back. I was like, damn. But yeah. never again. Those teacher roasts are brutal because you never forget. I never I never forget. You know what was mine? What? I literally would never look Another this teacher down. roasted you on top of this one? Yeah. Fuck. I'll tell you, it was this private school. They hated Mexicans. <laughs> Dead ass. <laughs> and this goes with this next thing she, she said. I, I remember her name too. It was Miss Winia. Miss Winia, shout out to her. <laughs> I remember um, we were, we were, it was like talking about geography or something. And then I said the Mojave, the Mojave Desert. Oh, Mojave. Okay. And she busted out laughing. <laughs> she just was laughing in your face? Yeah. She was like, <laughs> <laughs> like that. I thought she just barred, busted yeah. like, a, how close were you to her? Like, how, how far, like, proximity wise? I was probably in the middle of the class. Oh. And then I was like, I was like, teacher, where's the Mojave Desert? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my god! And then the whole class erupted into laughter. Oh no! And I, bro, I literally had no idea what the fuck I said because I was like, "What would I say?" And I was like, "What's going on?" And I said, "Mojave," because it's fucking bro. It's a J. There's a J. Ja ja ja. There's a fucking J. So she I literally went ja ja ja. And I said Mojave, and she busted out laughing. And then she said, so, so, "I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Like I'm not making fun of your race or anything. I was just it just kind of full the fact she had to bring that up. Exactly. So she was laughing at my. She just could have said, "Oh, I, you probably don't know the pronunciation." Yeah, nah, she was That's laughing it. at my Mexican, my Mexicanness, oh, my Mexicanness. <laughs> that right? was definitely fucking personal. Yeah, and I did it. I I like I didn't know why she laughed for the longest. It, it, I was just so confused. Until later on, I find out it's Mojave Desert. Yeah, you know what's crazy? At least, thing, at least he didn't say Mojave. You know what's crazy? You know, you know what's Mojave. crazy? Uh. That lady went out that night to a bar with her friends, and, and she said told that story. them that story and laughed, and all of her friends laughed with her can too. Can you believe this? Stupid, <laughs> she's like, can you, you believe the Kimberly's, the Kimberly's, the Katie's, class? and the Karens are all laughing at you? The stupid Mexican in my class and Mojave Desert. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a shot from Mojave. Oh my, oh god. my god! Yeah, no. so was, that, that's my my <laughs> traumatic teacher experience. You have a she traumatic. Went, she went home, told her husband. She's washing the dishes. You won't get. Can you believe idiot. this beaner today? <laughs> beaner. Oh my! God. What's what's your? Uh, you have any traumatic teacher experiences? So go to you first because I'm trying to think about. You already said it. All the Gatorade. That's yeah. like fuck. That's the, I, I'm sorry. I, I threw up on that man. I had a throw up story too in kindergarten, and uh. It was another, this white dude, this white little kid. I remember I threw up in class. I forgot what it was, but I remember I threw up mm. and I ran to the sink. Well, I ran to the sink to throw up there because I'm fucking respectful. And then, um, you know, I, I did that. The next day, this one kid, he was like, um, uh, oh, hey, so I hope you don't barf again. <laughs> and at the time, I didn't know what barf meant. Like, I didn't know what barf meant. Uh -huh. And I, I just hated his tone of voice. And I know he said something mean. So I punched him. <laughs> Mojave. <laughs> like a Mojave <laughs> Indian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Mojave. Yeah. I remember uh, freshman year, uh, I remember I ate something at lunch and then my stomach was just fucking, it was bad. And I just like, I like, I felt like I had the shits, but I didn't have the shit. And I remember I was in class and I remember there was a girl I thought that was pretty cute. And then I was talking to her and I honestly just laid out this fat, like I didn't even push it out. Like that shit came out it on just, its own. It slipped out. Like like the fart, not like not the poop, fart. You shot. But it was like it was no, no, it was a fart. But like those like those like nasty like silent wet one, like the one. No 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 sharding. Literally like it was just like a, like, but it felt like <laughs> so you could feel like the heat, bro. It was, oh, you, yeah. you felt what you ate last night? Yeah. Uh, no, it was at lunch. Just from what I ate at lunch, I forgot what I ate. And then I remember because after um I was in like it was a world history, and I was in there. And then I was, uh, I just felt my stomach just, yeah, and my I was just like, oh, I was like, why do I feel like I have like the, like the diarrhea shits, right? 
And it was just like, and then right away, it just like, it, it like I could smell it, but luckily no one had smelled it. I don't know how it was bad. Teacher walks by and he's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> so who was that? <laughs> hey, he probably got mad. And then he literally was like, it smells like it came from right here. Whoa, <laughs> and wow. it pointed straight at me, dude. Damn. And I was just like, oh man. And right when he mentioned it, now everyone smells it, bro. Like, I feel like no one wanted to mention it or like no one and when knew who it was. Back then when you fart, like it's the end of the world. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Like, high like, school. Oh, dude. And like, now we own that shit. Like, yeah, it was me. But now before, it was the most embarrassing thing to yeah. fart in Especially because I, I was sitting behind my crush. That fool probably got mad because he tasted it, huh? He's like, <laughs> yeah. he walked in. He was like, sloppy Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> Chimichanga. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, the fact that he just walked by, he was like, oh. Damn. <laughs> Like if so, I don't know. What Shout out to those the, teachers. Like that, it was that actual sound. Do you remember your teacher name? Mine was Mr. Rogers. Shout out to Mr. Rogers. He was cool as fuck. Mr. Rogers neighborhood. No, it was cool. He was a cool ass teacher. Oh. Okay. Actually, it wasn't world history because I actually loved our world history teacher. Shout out to Mr. Fuck, I forgot his name. Shout I forgot what class it was, but it was a guy. And then, ah, oh, dude, that ah, oh, it crushed me because when she even spelled it too, and he pointed at me, she looked right back at me with like disgust, and I was just like, oh. It was over. Everyone never far, never got to never. be with that girl. <laughs> it was that, that moment. Fart. It was that moment. I was like, never, dude, it was one time. If that teacher would have never did that, you would have probably been married to her right now. Yeah. Think about that. I want you to think of that whole new other life you would have had with her. Yeah. Wouldn't it be nice if we're mm. together? Shout out to her. Wouldn't it be mm. nice if I didn't fart? She was still cool with me, but I feel like she was like, one fart too many. Yeah, she was like, you kind of, no. I'm like, I'll be your friend, but I'm not going to. No, go away, fart boy. <laughs> go, go away, pedorro. Go away, stinky ass, stinky butthole. <laughs> but now let's go on to the next segment. All right, guys, now it's time for take the mic. <laughs> if you don't know what take the mic is, it's a segment we have here where we answer what's your guest's turn to come talk to us. So link in the bio for the form link. We're gonna start off with the first one. We're using a new setup. Look at that little keyboard. Oh, I don't know mouse. why this looks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just want to make sure you guys know that. <laughs> Look, I can even I use the mouse right here on top of this couch. All right. I don't know why this one looks so familiar for some reason. What was you right from it? like last week or two weeks ago? I don't know it why was it, uploaded, just it was uploaded today. I, I know it's just so weird. All right, hey guys, just wanted to start off by saying I love the show. You always entertain me on my commute to work. LOL. But to my story, <sighs> but safe. to my story. Sorry if this is long, but it's a good one. I'm 27 year old, big booty Latina. What up? LOL. I recently found out my fiance of 10 years, high school sweetheart, cheated on me. Oh. I made a decision to stay in the relationship and try to work things out. I love I love the life we have built together, and because leaving would be too complicated, we live together, have a dog, and at this point, I have invested a lot of money into the wedding. Being devil's advocate, I assumed he cheated because we've been together since high school and have never experienced dating other people or even just fucking around. To my question, would it be wrong of me to even to even the score? I become more and more curious on what it would be like to be with other guys. Maybe one of you can help me out. Ah. So I appreciate you already know advice. what we're gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I think. I think you should cheat before you get married. Yeah, because so one way... thing is cheating. Another thing is cheating in the eyes of the Lord. Big time. So hit us up before you get married. So it's the lesser two evils, right? I like that. Like if the thoughts are already there, yeah, just do it. Might as well do it before you get married. Yeah. Give me some skin. <laughs> Matt is on it. <laughs> Aaron, yeah, Aaron you know. knows it's true. <laughs> You rather you rather your you rather your wife cheat on you or your girlfriend? He doesn't want to agree. Yeah, what's worse, getting cheated on by your girlfriend or by your wife? They're both terrible, but yeah, of course, your wife. The lesser two evils. Oh, lesser two evils. It's still two evils. You rather smash would, your foot or dress your toe? The one who would gladly fucking just rail you is my boy Aaron right here. No, like, no, look no, right here. Sucking on that shit like a no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, but uh. He's like, no, 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 I can't. No, karma. No, I'm good. What if you don't believe in what karma? What if karma already happened? What if you're his karma? You nah, know, sometimes. Dude. I still believe that if you do something wrong like that, even though you're, if you were someone's karma, that karma will still come back to you. What if you're. Because you karma gave you the chance, the choice of choosing that or not. She's giving us the choice. It's her karma, not ours. Yeah, well, then you guys can do it. Bet. I think the fucking. I, mouse, I don't. I, I just don't ever want to actually, like, if I ever have sex with a girl or hook up with a girl that. Had a boyfriend, but if I didn't know, that's not my fault because she was fucking lying to me. But if I knew and I still did that, that's what fucking would piss like that. That's what I would never want to ever do. I feel like it's been done to me, so I'm doing it back. That guy had done nothing to you. Him? 
I'm saying like it, you said that you would, but like what that guy did nothing to you. What do you mean? So why would you want revenge on someone that you never had done like that has never done anything to he, you? Because he's still men and all men suck. You keep switching up teams, bro. <laughs> hey, it's fucking 2023. I can switch up as many times as I want to. All right, next one. Mama Huevo. Mama Huevo. Hey, guys. I've been struggling to focus on myself lately. In the past few years, I lost a bunch of weight and Sorry. got super confident, but slowly been fucking up and getting lost in my negative habits. Ooh. I feel like I spend too much time and energy on girls and partying, so I've been trying to get myself back on track, but ignoring the girls kind of makes, makes them slide on me. And I'm like, damn, do I give in or just curve them? I'm worried if I focus too much on myself, then I'm going to lose my riz. Mm -hmm. But I also know if I don't focus on my grind, it's all going to go downhill anyways. Give me some advice. Oof. Huh. I got you. So check this out. If you're worried about losing your riz, once you have money and an empire and like everything, like once you are the man you want to be, you don't even need riz. Girls just come to you. So focus on yourself. Because if you're focusing on the Riz, you're not focusing on yourself. It's You got you got to choose one. One or the other. It's one or the other. It, it, it's hard to, you know, build you and also fucking entertain all these women. So uh, yeah. build yeah. yourself first. I would, I would suggest, because I'm on my shit right now, <clears throat> try, the, try to do that 75 hard. I mean, I started it, I think. Because that's what he's looking for. He's looking for, like, to get Motivation. back on it, right? Yeah. Motivation. I feel like that's motivating. Like, oh, I feel like also, really do this shit. Don't like entertain girls as in like trying to get a relationship. But if you want to have your fun here and indulge in your little fun here and there, go ahead. That way you don't lose your riz for what or whatever. I feel like the but riz like, you're still focusing on yourself and you indulge in that type of activity here and there, not yeah. often like how you are used to. But like you know, maybe every other month, what's, once every three weeks. I don't know. What's that thing called? If you have the sauce and then they call, what's the other thing the called? Juice. The juice. I think the juice is like the riz. Yeah, yeah. Right. It could go away at any time. But if you got the sauce and you just no, got no, the it, sauce. The sauce. Everybody. The sauce is what stays the, the in sauce, the. No, the sauce is temporary. The juice is forever. No, the juice goes fucking expired in like so two the months. Sauce. It's the sauce. No, it's so the, the sauce. sauce. Check, check your barbecue sauce right they now. They both go expired, so you might want to. You got the water. No, it's no, it's, it's, the, it's the video. It's he says nobody says juice. Like got the no, juice. nobody says I got the juice. Everybody says I got the sauce. So it's like everybody got the sauce because they saw that video. But the juice lasts forever. No, they both expire. The, the the video the video has it backwards. The sauce is forever. The juice is temporary. Back I got the canned foods. <laughs> okay, right. canned black beans. Anyway, there's a famous quote. Another quote to go with your quote is, uh, "Money comes first and bitches follow." I like that one more. So remember that one. But if you got the if you got could have said it. women. Ladies, but that's how the quote goes. Right? Uh, quote okay, goes. okay, okay. All right, right, next one. Don't quote him. Quote the quote. The only bad thing about this positioning is the mouse doesn't reach the fucking the, the Bluetooth. It was so far. cool, huh? It is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, mis cabrones hermosos. Hola. It's your girl from Arlington, Texas again. Oh, Loved your POV, Saul, regarding Yaritza and her salzon chicken siblings' opinion towards Mexico. Yes. All right. So next thing, have you guys heard about the whole issue happening with hotels? My coworker told me that all of these well-known hotels are in the whole kidnapping and child trafficking. There are videos of people staying at hotels where they find legit man-made tunnels in and their closed closet floors. Those tunnels lead down to other tunnels, other tunnels where they steal children while sleeping and smuggle them through there. They also found cameras in TV remotes, shampoo, soap dispensers, and hidden rooms. Super creepy and scary. Hope you poppy baddies have a great day. That's Besitos. Wild. I like how she says this Besitos. right the day before I'm going to Vegas. Oh, yeah. No, okay. <laughs> kidnapped. 100% believe that. Because yeah, me too. I saw an interview of this guy who works at hotels. He worked at luxurious hotels. And he says, he says horror stories of these multi, multi billionaire people who will literally rent out the whole hotel and they'll have sex parties. Like, that's all they do. Like, and they treat the staff horribly and they're just there. They invite all their people to like a hotel because, I mean, it's fucking rooms. And, and then they just have giant orgies. Everybody's walking around the hotel naked because they just have the money to do so. Mm -hmm. they, they basically like uh, rent out an entire floor. No, they rent out the whole thing. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then again, those, these people that own these hotels are probably in, it, in on it. Mm-hmm. So I do believe maybe, I don't know about the, well, you said that there's videos of it. Send us a video so we can react to that. But um, I don't know about, yeah, I don't know about the tunnels, but for sure some weird shit happens in these hotels. 
Mm-hmm. If I can remember the thing that's been alleged for also being Ooh. part of kidnapping and trafficking, I'll bring it up again. But it's this business. It's a bit like not just a single business, but like like a you know like a like an actual like like the whole Wayfair. No, the, like the whole um, scheme of this business. Like it's you, um it's like a genre of you business. You know what? Actually, I have I a connection a to a really high end hotel. I'm gonna ask her next episode if she's down to go anonymous and tell us because she's a high executive. At a really, really, at one of the biggest hotels in Las Vegas. So she for sure knows some shit. Mm-hmm. She has to know some shit. The Cosmo. Can't tell you. Damn it. But I'm going I'm to text her and we'll see if we can have that next, next week where she calls in and spill some, spill some tea. You guys ever heard that Garth Brooks fucking theory? What? You know, the, okay, you know how there's a, a country artist named Garth Brooks? A what? Country artist. Country music artist. Garth no, Brooks, whatever. He's like one of the bigger ones. Um... I guess a lot of kidnappings and a lot of his tour dates align so oh, perfectly. Yeah, 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 yeah. To uh, missing people. To missing people. It's so crazy. What? I need a fucking yeah. mouse pad. Like uh, it's ridiculously so weird how much of a coincidence it is that and some if you people go actually to, believe that he's a part of like uh, trafficking, trafficking and kidnapping. And oh. if you go to all his social media posts, everybody leaves comments. Where are the bodies? Yeah. 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 It became such a big thing. Was it was it Tom Segura <laughs> that was the, the one that brought it up or whatever? What happened? He's the one that made that that theory popular. Like it was already a theory, but like he's the one that like popularized it on his on his podcast, right? Who? Tom Segura? The yeah, 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 yeah. It was, yeah he Tom hates. Segura. Yeah, that guy hates. Uh, yeah, Garth Brooks hates Tom yeah, yeah. Segura for that. <laughs> or I think he hated him before that. Probably. I forgot what it was. The story. All right, next one. Oh hell no. Sup, I e ninjas. Me. Oh, thank God. I literally. Well, you thought I was going to say that? Thought you were going to say well, it. Well, you think I just say that casually? I. You think I, like I've said that word before where I would just easily just say it? Or what? I don't know. Have you? Stop projecting. <laughs> Stop <laughs> projecting. <laughs> What's up? I eat ninjas. Oh I don't even think you can say that. I used to call my fan base ninjas. I know. I don't think. I think. I What's think up, my ninjas? Canceled. What? How? I don't know. Not, it's like they're a my ninjas. It's like. No, it's not. It's like, mm-mm. Not even. It's like replacing right, the word. Keep going. It's my ninjas. It's like replacing ninjas, the word. I'm just going to, instead of saying friends, I'm just going to start saying ninjas. What are you ninjas. doing? I'm sorry. There's no connection on this fucking mouse. It oh. was a good idea in my head, but now I'm struggling. Look out. Like, this shit just, it loses connection. I got to extend my leg or some shit. What the fuck's going on? Oh, oh there it is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Cancel. Oh, nice yeah, and slow. Yeah. All right. So it says, what's up, my IE ninjas? Me, age 18, and my girlfriend. 16. Uh, no, pause. Keep it going. Time out, going. time out, time out. Keep it going. Two hear years isn't out. that crazy. Hear him right, out. Let him cook. Let's hear, hear him out. out. Let's hear him out. And my girlfriend, 16, have been dating April of this year. Oh, oh hey. man. Oh, no. Wait, chill, chill. No. Chill no. out. Let him cook. Let him Let cook. cook. Let him cook. Let him cook. They're probably still in high school. Everything is going pretty well. She's not toxic, and I'm not toxic, and I'm not as toxic as I was before. <laughs> but my girlfriend fucked up. And we can't go out and do shit like do shit with my friends or come over to my place. It's been like this since June. And honestly, it kind of fucked up because I'm still trying to smash <laughs> and mostly be with her because I can't because she's grounded. <laughs> Did you graduate, my boy? I, <laughs> I talked to her mom personal. And really, the only thing she said is she fucked up with rules and all that, which is understandable, but a little frustrating. We haven't hung out since 4th of July. Uh, which been way too long. Not to mention, recently we've been fighting more. Just overall, the relationship hasn't been the same since the grounding. Should I keep being with her and hope things get better, or I just cut my losses and break up? I just count my losses and break up with her. We both don't know what to do anymore. I want to hear Aaron's advice first because he's been in that high school love situation, but wouldn't mind hearing Saul and Caesar's opinions too. Love the furry update. We got a, wait, love the furry. All right, update. We got on a call together today to talk about the relationship. We both are trying our best to fix it and be better. And we seem to be a little better out after that call. Any Anything, advice or opinions on it? Thank you, guys. Heart. I bet you they got in three more fights since 8.09 p.m. 8.09 a.m. Oh, that was sent today. Nice. Yeah. All right, so dang, everything's been right sent before, today. Uh, right before school started? Yeah, right. He was on the ho- bus <laughs> right home. That's where it's all bad. He probably clocks in. Well, he probably goes to school at 8.30. So this is my this is what I think. Even though he said I want, would you have actually? Would, would you have any opinion for this man? Uh, it's, it's I think it's super early in a relationship, so I don't think it's a bad thing to like maybe end it because like, 
Um, that's one of the only things that sucks about dating someone who has strict parents. But that's something you gotta deal with if you really like the person. Kind of happens when you date sixteen year olds. Yeah. Know? That too. <laughs> yeah, you gotta I mean, deal with the grounding. I mean, look, yeah. I guess he's eighteen and he's still in high school. Does it make it okay? Yeah, I think, um, it, I think it makes it okay. Yeah. I guess there's just like there's that line, right? But like, and it's there, you know. <laughs> Because, it's like right on it, I guess yeah, you could say, right he's, on that he's line. Literally on it. Because he could have like met her at 17, right? So he could have met her at 17 and then he turns 18. Mm -hmm. And then it's only two year difference. Like for us, it's like if you're 22 dating a 20 year old, I get it. But if you're like 25 trying to hit on 18, I think, I think the rules yeah, bend a little bit. In I, high think, school? I think if you're like a year or two apart in high school, it's okay, yeah, it's okay. because you kind of met her. Like I've met as a only senior, weird I met thing is sophomores and juniors. Yeah. Senior. With the sophomore, kind of. Well, she could be a junior because or she's she could 16. be a if a senior and junior. Okay, but it's only and then it gets weird once the dude graduates and then the girl's still in high school. Picking her from high school, bringing that's her Chick Fil A. That, he's not, that's the only thing you gotta think about is that you graduate now and, and she's still she's raising still her high hands school. to go to the restroom. You getting her planner signed? Uh, getting her planner signed? Like Crazy. she needs a hall pass? Yeah. Uh, okay, then sorry we got off topic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, advice. Um, I'm sorry. The only advice is fucking. Right now, she belongs to her parents. You know? Where her parents say... You have to respect that, bro. You got to respect the parents. You can't yeah. run away. There's no Romeo and Juliet. Um, so, my advice... This is actually my real advice. Break up with her. Because you're 18, and you're going to get out of high school first. And when you get out of high school, you're going to be met with a lot of baddies. All right? There's a whole new world out there once you leave high school. A whole new world. It's going to be some baddies. Some 30-year-old. Also remember, I mean, you know, you guess, I mean, if she's a very loyal girl, you don't have to worry about anything, but the fact that you're going to be gone and you're nowhere to be there, there's going to be dudes. Oh yeah, there's going to be especially in high school when she's with them freaking 8 hours a day. There's going to be girl, there's going to be dudes tickling her. Wow. Carrying she's going she's going to have her school boyfriend. There's going to be yeah, there's going to be guys walking her to class. Like and where are you going to be at, my boy? For clocking into work, you're gonna be clocking. But into that's work. fifty fifty. Remember, because she, she can also be a loyal queen. Not, but do that. walking in class isn't cheating. I used to walk girls with boyfriends all the time. That's what I'm saying. It's fifty fifty that whether she does this stuff or not. I'm asking where my hug at. When yeah, you drop them off at class. I'm making them giggle. <laughs> so be careful. I would say break up with her to be honest. All right, next one. They, and, and it's an early relationship, so it's not like it's gonna be like anything yeah, traumatic yeah. or yeah. you know, it's pretty early. Trust. April of this year, you know, so. Yeah, trust. There's going to be some bad. It's like four school. months ago, bro. Yeah. yeah. Cut that shit off. All right, next. <sighs> when is it the right time to say I love you to someone you're dating? Since that's a strong word. And I don't want to just say it to someone who doesn't deserve it. You'll know. You feel it inside. Yeah. Yeah, it's like they don't deserve. Yeah. I don't. I feel like deserve is a crazy the love word to feel, say. <laughs> the love you feel for someone is just it's, on the timing on, on you. It's not deserving. It's just natural. It's just natural on how you feel about someone. It could be yeah. a year. It could be six months. It could, it's just on the person that you are and how you really feel about that person. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's, is time really a thing on that? And if you're, and if you're uh, saying, depending if you're, on the person. I'm breaking this shit down too far, but if you're saying deserve it, it means that like you're waiting for them to be better. And I don't think that's how love works. So you should like, you know, get out. That is true. I so I was like, I never loved anyone. Yeah, I, was, I can't speak on that part. I never loved anyone. <laughs> so it was mad quiet on that one. <laughs> yeah, I got nothing to say on that. <laughs> All right, next one. I want to smash my high school crush that graduated two years ago. And I'm still in high school. <laughs> For some context, I'm 16 and a guy. And she is 18 or 19. And I saw her at a wedding last Saturday and we danced. And after that, she started flirting with me. Towards the end of the night, we went behind a car and started making out for a while. And she told me, are you going to another party next week? And I said, yeah. So what do I do now? You go to that party. You get your dick sucked. Yeah, that's bro, what you that's do. it. Trust. Don't think about it too much. That's how, that's how, like, that's how the bases go. That's the canon event. Yeah, yeah. First, sing first song, you make sing, out. See the song. Hey, yo, hey, bitch. Yo, bitch. Suck, Suck my, my dick. dick. <laughs> so first, so saying that now. you make out. Once you make out and you got that tongue action, you, you know what's next. With, and she invited and you to And she party. asked you were going to be there. All right. Okay. That's a good sign. Good sign. She backed it up on you. You, you got your dick. You, your dick and her ass said what's up they're to only each other. They're only pants away. Yeah. Yeah. You guys said what's up each other. You, you <laughs> guys made that connection. You guys said what's up. And then you guys made out. What's up? You said made out for a while. So that's good. So the tension is there. You know what's next now? You go Next time you go make out, you get a little handsy. Right, and if she lets, if that, if, if she consents to all the handsy, mm -hmm. then you know what's next. The and have her pick you up. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and then, so she's gonna give you driving, head. Yeah, yeah she's gonna you give up. you head in her car, yeah. uh -huh. or she give she could feel 
Well, no, she doesn't feel uncomfortable since yeah. she, she she already kissed them. So exactly. So the next yeah. step is get your dick sucked, my boy. Or you can just make out again. I love how I love. You how can just mo- make out again. Wait, game. wait, wait, pause. I love it. it's such a double fucking like what is that called? Oh, literally the the person <laughs> before we're talking about. <laughs> literally 1860. God damn it, we're hypocrites. <laughs> fuck, we're hypocrites. Nah, Jesus. nah, fuck that. Get your dick <laughs> sucked. Dick suck. Get your dick sucked, my boy. He wants no, it. He wants it. we were hypocrites. <laughs> we were. Hypocrites. I noticed that too, but I kept it going. <laughs> I was we like, were pause. hypocrites on that. Nah, one, we weren't. We, we about the boy. It's because it's different. It's not like she's like taking advantage of him. He said, "I want to." Okay. Smash. You she, know it's different, Aaron. You, you know, know it's different. different. In certain times, maybe because because there's times where, 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 where older girls can groom an, a younger dude. I hope someone and that he thinks he wants this wish from was what groomed. she was telling him. On the other hand, there's dudes who are 16, 17 that know they want to. They're horny motherfuckers. And Every actually 16, wanna 17 fuck. is horny, bro. So it depends on the dude. I'll say that. It depends on the on the guy. All right. Cause there has been some guys where you see you hear stories about like the guy who was like set with the teacher and arrow and then all and then you hear like, well, depending on the dude, that's what I'm saying. Cause the dude could have been groomed or he probably didn't want to do it. But I'm then as far see- of course, in my position, if <laughs> I was in high school and I got to smack the teacher, I'd be fucking like, fuck yeah. I feel like those kids I wouldn't see myself as a victim because I would have wanted to smash but too. I mean, what if your parents found out? Wouldn't you be the victim there? And wouldn't that be well, the thing that gets broadcast on the news? My parents would be fucking furious that this fucking yeah, older yeah. woman. But in my and uh, my dad me, would dab me up. Yeah, straight up. I don't think I'd even get my in dad trouble. be like, mm-hmm. "Damn, you beat but my not, record." Not, <laughs> not all guys are the same. Some guys will feel victimized, and that's so, sir, that's totally okay. Yeah, some guys are just pussies. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> next yo, one. Yo, yo. <laughs> I right, would we'll do two more. Can we do three? Can we do like four? These are getting fun. Okay, just go, just go, just go. Just go. We'll do three more. We'll do, let's go, let's we'll go, do three let's more. Let's go, let's go. Where's your type? All right. <laughs> With social media being a big thing right now, do you think we should be concerned about the future? We are currently struggling to fill doctor, teacher, cops, et cetera, et cetera, since everyone wants to become an influencer. It's kind of true. No, I don't think not. it's true at all. 100. I don't think this. I, I, I like, I hear, I hear this a lot. Like people, this is a big worry for people. This is definitely like, think about this, right? Think about this. Think about this. How many... Uh, there's so many fucking jobs. Like, you, there's so many kids in college. Like, if you see a, a graduating class, it's like over fucking 200, 300 every year. There's a bunch of kids in colleges. That, that shit's stacked up. And it's not like these colleges are ghost towns. If these colleges were ghost towns, then okay, yeah. But it's just what we see, what is being shown to light to us. Mm-hmm. Like, what stands, what stands out more? Someone in the street doing a fucking TikTok dance or someone yeah. reading or studying? We noticed the guy in the public doing the TikTok dance. Mm. And you're like, oh, what the fuck? Everybody wants to be an influencer. Well, there's other people just like in the library or just sitting down reading a book. You don't notice those guys. I think it's just what, I think just the social media thing is just like a, it come, it catches the eye way faster. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also I think it's just more of a younger person thing where yeah. like they go through this phase of becoming an influencer, but then like they go to college and everything. They're like, oh, I actually want to major in blah, 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 yeah. blah. So, but also so, there is, there was a, 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 a test, uh, statistic thing whatever where yeah, it did go up a lot where they yes. ask kids what they want to be when they grow up and they said youtuber mm-hmm, yeah, which is yeah. valid i mean but that's the cool thing about social media is you how can do old both. are they uh they're like elementary school kids oh yeah they'll grow yeah. out of it yeah grow and, out of yeah and you can do both you can pursue social media and work out what you want and now a lot of businesses they utilize social media there's a lot of lawyers that are social media influencers yeah yeah they still have their job but they're also making extra income social media is really just extra income Whatever funding, it or just a helps. Way you. to promote yourself. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It's a way to promote yourself instead of getting all these. Have ever seen those plumbers without shirts that do plumbing? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's people, there's plumbers, there's electricians, there's all these people, there's Johnny gardeners. Sins. Yeah, there's it's gardeners. Free commercials. Yeah, it's free commercials. So I think now social, it's not like it's not one or the other. It's working mm-hmm. together. So whatever you're doing now, you can even make videos about it. And, and if it interests people, money. it'll hit. If it hits, yeah. Of course, there's those times where it probably won't hit. But yeah. you know, if you get lucky enough. Like my dad just recently asked me about like a bunch of social media questions. She sells like health insurance, but she wants to start like making like TikTok stuff. Like not, she does. She's like, I don't care about the the TikTok revenue. I just sort of want at least one, two people, one or two people. I to sign imagine up. if Prime America fucking has social media today, bro. They probably do. I don't know. I think I thought they died out. I'd be like the four. No, so you're just not 17 and then people, they won't know your DMs anymore. Yeah, they're not, they're not, you're not their target audience. Yeah. It's like the fucking recruiters that show up to, to people like poor high schools. Yeah. All right. 
We'll do last one. Actually, we'll do one more after this. Yo, I need some advice, porfa. I'm thinking of ending my four-year relationship with my boyfriend. I don't know what to do because I love him and he treats me good, but I'm just not emotionally connected with him because of how nonchalant he is. I feel like the only way I connect with him is when we have sex and I'm low-key bored of our relationship. I feel like I can't talk to him Jesus. and I'm fed up because I need that emotional support. What should I do? I'm 23, by the way. Love y'all. Well, miss, if he's not giving what you want, then leave. But first communicate it. Yeah. And if he's not doing it, then you leave. I feel like, I feel like, I mean, I've heard this many times, like women leave emotionally first and mm -hmm. then they'll break up with you like yeah. three, four months later. Just do him the favor and leave already. Yeah. Because he notices it. He He's not oblivious to it, but he's just like, damn. Like, yeah. I think with the relationship, people forget. People like, people like trying. They, they try every day to make this person their girlfriend or boyfriend. And then once they have their boyfriend or girlfriend, they just, they're it's done. Not. They're like, okay, cool. Mission accomplished. I don't need to try anymore. But with relationships, you always got to. It's always a try. Yeah, it's always a try. You and know? it's always changing too. Like, y'all yeah. need to understand that. So if he's not putting out anymore, it's just like, yo, communicate with that. Be like, yo, I feel like you're just not trying. Like, I still, still want to be with you and stuff. Like, I love you, but you're just not giving me anything to work with. Mm -hmm. You feel me? And maybe mm -hmm. he might feel the same. He's like, maybe I'm not trying because you're not giving me no more sloppy. Yeah. Give him some sloppy. Maybe he brings you some flowers the next day. But I mean, they, <laughs> they feel connected when they have sex. And another thing that I've also realized. I would ask, I would also, before you start, I would also, if I were her, ask him how he feels about the relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To see if he feels the same way. How or about? if he actually just feels like it's okay, yeah. then, then you tell him like, well, this is how I feel about it. And like you said, if you don't fix it. Yeah. Like, then why am I still here? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. And another what, thing. Go, go, no, keep going. No, 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 go, go, go. Uh, I was going to say, people, like nowadays with social media, people date each other off of looks. And then, so they're straight into that honeymoon phase. And then honeymoon phase is over. And now they really find out who their partner is. Because before social media, you really had to get to know someone first. But now we don't really get to know someone. Now we just see them off looks like, oh, he looks cool. Or like, oh, he looks like a fun person yeah, because be of what he does. Because of only the highlights that they choose to mm -hmm. show you. But you don't really know that person. And then you date them. You don't know the demons inside of you. Yeah, me. yeah. You, you <laughs> date them, honeymoon phase is over. And now, boom, you're stuck with the real person. You know the demons inside my stomach when they come out? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you're completely valid. <laughs> this makes it funnier now. Right? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I got my leg extended. <laughs> Because like the mouse doesn't Did reach. Yeah, you yeah, you can bit. see a little bit. Ah, that's why I wanted to make this. I just want to end this already because it's just hard as fuck. You should grab a little tablita and then like <sighs> that. Oh, that'd be sick. Or flip the keyboard over. Does that work? And I think it's too slippery. My genius. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, no, no, it's a little kinda too slippery. Kind of shitty. Kind of shitty. Kind of works. Kind of shitty. Boo. A little shitty. All right, last last one. Caesar and Rex should box. There is some tension in the Bueno Bueno podcast. Feel like Caesar will get the W. Damn. Straight up, I wouldn't want to fight Rex because I would beat him. Damn, that's the only reason why I wouldn't want to box Rex. Yeah, I should. But Rex, if you're watching this, if you're watching this, I give you till the end of the year. Damn. Should we get some big ass boxing gloves? <laughs> you know what we should. That would be a video. That would be. <laughs> you know what I'm talking we're about. We're gonna make this for. Okay, we're gonna make this for PTU. Yeah. That's what I'm say. I'm gonna get a jumper that has Sick. like those those platforms. Yes. And we'll do a whole ass lineup. We'll make yes. you and Rex fight. But the, the, when there when there's a when there's a platform, that they end really fast. I really like. Now I we're don't going fuck to do with Rex. Now we're going. Yeah, we're going. No, to like I should have don't fuck with Rex. Like I want to get in the ring with just gloves on. There's going to be one short person in this fucking. Yeah, I don't network. like that he kind of looks like me. <laughs> kind of bothers me. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll do, this will be the setup. We'll do a whole fucking boxing match. Can I go against Hans and Rex though? Both of them. We'll do you and he Rex wants first. revenge on Hans. Yeah. What do I want to fuck up? We'll do you and Rex first. And then we'll do Stephanie and Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> and then you and Aaron? It's between... We'll do me and Hans, Winterkos versus Aaron. Okay. Wait, uh, well, I'm just automatically the... Oh, yeah, you're mad at... Because I, you're, I you're, your fist you, is heavier regardless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. you, you can swing and what really I, move oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll make that happen. Last one. We'll make that happen. We'll make that shit happen next week. Right. I have a jumper plug. Oh, yeah. We'll get that shit he, right. We'll get that shit. But I don't like the platform. Now we got to make I, I want to go in on that. We'll, we'll, we'll see what we can. We'll see I'm gonna what we just got. push him in this room and just beat we him. We shall all have like entrance music and everything too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll hold WWE. Event. Hold WWE. Hold pay per view. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah we'll I'm make with it happen. With like different names or yeah, something. Yeah. Like your character name. All right, next one. I have feelings for my wife's sister. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, okay. I wish this was so much longer, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> she lived with us for a year. And when she moved out, it felt like a full breakup. <laughs> what the fuck? 
<laughs> How do I get over a girl that ain't my girl? <laughs> hey, bro, I've been there. <laughs> like, you know when, when, Yo, when that girl's not your girl breaks wild. up with you? Wow. Okay, my guy. Hey, he's like, hey, when's your sister coming Why did it over? feel like a breakup? Like, did you guys get super close to her? Maybe, maybe she was super this cool. This needs to be longer. Yeah, can you send us I like, wish like, an this update? Was I know you got some more. You got some more details in that, my boy. I know you got that shit wet. All right, so there's got to be, like, if it felt like a breakup, that means she was kind of a little conversating back. She was probably kind of playing with that. I'm not going to lie. Because if he felt like a breakup, yeah. they had to be a little, you a know little how, too nice. You know how tough it is to get a man emotionally, like, Bro. invested that far? Yo, imagine that. Okay, now let's put yourself in the girl's position. Imagine you have a wife, mm-hmm. but your brother's <sighs> living with you. And while you're at work, your brother's fucking your wife. I've seen that porno before. <laughs> I've seen that fucking porn video. That is horrible, my guy. My guy, you need to... I'm, I'm not going to blame you. Maybe she was better. Maybe she was more fun. Maybe she was tighter. I don't know. And, you know, just... That's you insane. can't... Just just don't tell your wife. Don't That's tell your insane. wife and just go on a fishing trip, bro. Just I want this person that shit to come away. back and put more details into this because... Yeah, I'm going to tell you straight up, up it's not going to work out. Because either or, like you said, it's that or he... Um, is a little delusional and took her just her her being nice and her like being a sister in law, yeah, and then thinking it was something different. You get me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not some people can take a nice like just being kind to someone like as an oh, I like this girl. Maybe like, her, you know maybe, what I'm saying? Maybe they, maybe he works from home and so does she, and so they were around each other for a long time, so they built some type of like friendship. And, and then for her, it was just like you know like oh you're my brother in law, yeah. Know? Like of course I got like that love for you, and he was like oh no like. I love you. I love you. <laughs> I'll kick up my but wife. I, that's what I'm saying. We need more info from this I'll guy. I'll kick up my wife and my kids for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Your so sister? Was, nah. I don't that, like her anymore. He said, not Alabama. We're going for my sister's wife. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that wraps up. Take the mic. My sister's wife. My wife's sister. You don't know my life. Oh, my bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so that wraps up. Take the mic. Thank you guys for everybody submitting all your stuff. It was a great one. And now it's time to flip. Flip cameras flip scenes and we're going to start with our new segment Aved hosted by Caesar Zotelo Aved flip the script what's up guys welcome back to our new segment Aved hosted by your boy Caesar Sotelo Woo! Um, thank yeah. you thank you thank you thank you yeah yeah um so this first video, I wanted to do a little gym fail since we're all on our gym's journey, kind of, and what to not do when you're on the treadmill. Uh, please be careful when you're running on a treadmill because some people, things happen. Uh, I can already tell where this is going. All right. Is all this right. a Planet Fitness? This is <laughs> this is a nice gym from what it seems it does, like. It's very spacious. Right. Oh, yeah. I forgot it's not purple. Uh-huh. She's wearing little <laughs> lemons, so I know it's a kind yeah. of expensive gym. Um, so let's see and, what you should not do at the gym. Real quick, bro. Let's count the weight racks. One, two, three, four, five. Motherfuckers are not running out of weights. They're nine. They're (laughs) and there's nine in each. That's crazy. At my twenty four, everybody's fighting for one. Yeah, but what if like you're you're working out and you're just like right in front of the runner? Yeah, because you guys are just switching off, (laughs) doing cardio and muscles at the same time. Every rack's got a ball. That's that's the crazy part. It's an expensive ass gym. So this this lady um will actually let you switch off. Um, you'll see why right now. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Aved. Aved. Uh, this what happened at the so this lady together. falls, and the most embarrassing oh, thing that could happen happened. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Why did you hang on? She really got up and thought like no one watched, but in the video you see her literally fall. She and got her fucking pants. She got pants by a treadmill. Yo, bro. these rob these fucking robots are bullies. The robots are turning into Definitely. bullies. Definitely, she did. She wasn't even running that fast, but you could tell the, the treadmill kind of sped that up. Treadmill and she knew what, that treadmill slid. knew what it was awesome. doing. Also, that's a very good treadmill because that shit was grippy. Oh, yeah. That shit gripped on her and that shit just, her pants just flew Yo, off. Oh, that's wild. Everyone was asking where the cheeks were at when he saw the video. I was like, you'll see right Lulu now, Lululemons, I'm pretty sure they stick to your body, too. Oh, maybe so. they, were, they, were, they were, I told you, bro. Girls always wear <laughs> fake shit. Bro, my, <laughs> my new fear unlocked. I didn't think that was I, I, possible. Yeah, that, did, I think that I was think the title though, of it. She hung on. She was just trying to let go. Well, because there's fucking weights right behind her. There's another treadmill. <laughs> like, she would have been top. Yeah, what if she, there's a treadmill right behind her with weights on it? Bro, and that's so oh. true. That's They put the handles... So you don't fall. 
But now people know if you hold on, you're getting pants. So yeah, you might can, well just just take it. Just take the hit. Would that be bro. considered like third base on a treadmill? <laughs> I don't know about all of that. And, but that like, was just her human her human instinct kicking in, like, oh, oh I'm, I'm falling oh. flat. You know, know what I'm saying? So and it's she like, got pants, you're still going to that though. gym after that happened no, to you? Your no, gym I'm crush? making sure none of those treadmills have anything behind it or imagine in front of that. It. Imagine that old creepy dude behind her. <laughs> the one that's walking, <laughs> watching. He was already staring, and now he just got it. He's like, thank you. He's like, I love this gym. Thank you. I'm always coming back. I finally <laughs> he tells the maintenance workers uh my last oh, treadmill shit. wasn't grippy enough can we grip them up a can little bit more up? Oh, oh, that, that reminds me of that of that scene from family guy of herbert when he's like oh well now back to the little league world series jackpot <laughs> <laughs> my boy was probably on the wood treadmills behind her being a creep and he was like jackpot Oh my god, that was a great, that was a good oh video. That was a good video. Great, great way to start this new segment of it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna tell almost this segment. Yeah. New fears unlocked because okay. this second video is about to unlock a fear you never thought of for sure. Oh hell no, the way. Oh shit, what's going on here? All right, so all. what's going on here? It looks <laughs> like the gentleman is on blacktop, maybe a sidewalk. Bless you. Thank you. Um, he looks like he might be working there, working boots. Yeah, he got boots. some working boots. So hard working man. Um, he's next it to looks a, like he fell. What's that called? A drainage? Like a sewer? He's drainage? right next to a sewer drainage. Yeah. So like right where that. Hole is that so right now real quick from what i can see what do you think is gonna happen what it, do you think happened it looks like his leg is stuck <laughs> i think that's cement because i can see like the little grab like the gravel a uh -huh. little bit around him because i don't think he's i don't think he can bend his knee that much i think his foot is stuck in the cement a ver. A ver. A ver. it is yeah, yeah. no way harden <laughs> it's Look stuck but check this out <sighs> He fell through it. Like, he literally she, walked oh, in the cement fell. open. Like, literally collapsed on him and he went inside. He lost his shoe. Yo. So new fear unlocked, Todd. Be careful when you're walking in new LA. New nope. fear nope. unlocked? Nope. Wait, wait. One. My boy got the bag. My boy did get a bag. He got the city from bag. That, from that drainage sewage thingy, probably too fucked up. Yeah, bag. Mm. So Terrible he, job done. He got, he, the not, not only is a new fear unlocked, but also a new glory hole unlocked. Am I right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Am I right? You know what I mean? Fucking underground trolls about to be fucking. Have you ever got a head from a turtle? No, not yet. Get it? Because they're <laughs> ninja turtles? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, Master Springer's right there fucking. Bra, bra, bra. <laughs> bra, bra. My my goal is for one day for the city to mess me up one day, but that is a bag. That is a bag, bro, because he could have really injured himself. Luckily, hopefully he didn't. Hopefully he's okay. Still lost it. But how scared are you now? Because you know, have you seen like? Is that a lawsuit though? If he's not injured, like it he still just is because he could have potentially been injured. Yeah, he if he had a good okay. lawyer like Esther the lawyer. Esther, <laughs> Esther the lawyer. Uh -huh. Okay, now that's that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. So new fear unlocked. Be careful where you step. Oh Jesus, I'm gonna be walking around drainage all the time. I'm gonna be stomping next to drainages. <laughs> oops, oops. <laughs> Bow, bow. You actually break your knee? Yeah, walk like ACL's torn. Walk like Bigfoot. <laughs> well, this wraps up our segment called Aved. Um, if you guys want to see us react to your videos or any videos, send them to the link down below. Now let's go back to the podcast. And we're back. Wow. We're a uh, month and a half away, right? Uh -huh. From October. Yeah. You know. You know, you know these mazes be out here, right? Okay. So speaking of mazes, you know it's at a theme park, so I want to ask you. Oh. Fine gentlemen. Oof. I wanted to ask you guys, I'll, I'll name a theme park and you tell me what that says about her. What her theme park says about her? What her theme park says about her. Okay, guys? All right. Ready? Let's go. Ready? Either one of you can jump in. I'm going to be kind of mean, but go ahead. And then remember, this is all Disclaimer. your theme. Not, not, not just to Halloween, like maze. I'm just saying like. Theme parks. Just yeah, theme, theme parks. parks in general. Yeah, theme parks. I'm just, ready. Yeah. Universal Studios. Ooh. She's Mexican. And huh? she's a good girl. And she's a family girl because usually they go with their dads and their moms. Yeah, if she goes to Universal Studios, she is family orientated, mm -hmm. and she's got big dreams. She's ambitious. She wants to be someone. She wants to be an entertainer, and she wants to get her family out the hood. Why was she in the hood in the first place? You think people from the hood only go to Universal Studios? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, and like she she goes and she feels inspired, and she feels one day. I, I get it though, because like at Universal, you do see more families like. Like like actual like little like little families with like older girls like and a lot of age. tourists huh? yeah a lot of tourists oh yeah it's people people who are chasing the dream like going to Universal Studios because they feel inspired so I think she's got big dreams give her some time Hollywood though. dreams she yeah got Hollywood dreams give her some time she's gonna stress you out but believe in her and trust her okay Disneyland Disneyland she a whole for show nah nah you don't think so nah if she if she likes Disneyland she definitely got some daddy issues. She likes to hug the Mickey Mouse. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, nah, I think she got daddy issues if she likes Disneyland. Don't get me wrong. Like, she's probably great. 
right? She's great. Like, she's very cheerful. She probably shops at TJ Maxx and she loves, you know what? I'll she take back the, the daddy issues. issues. I'll take back the daddy issues, but I think Disney Night is a little bit more family orientated because it's kid friendly. It's kid friendly. It's family friendly. But what if she goes? Friendly. It's not like her kids or nothing. Just no, her. but she loves, she loves her inner child. Oh, like so she, I think when she has a baby and she has a family, she's going to treat them like how they should. And she wants to like make their, make their fantasy come true. Okay. So I think they're more family orientated. It's not, it's not about like when they go. It's just like, remember, this is, um, let me rephrase this. What her favorite theme park says about her, her mm -hmm. favorite. So she can go to all these theme parks, but what's her absolute favorite? Yeah. And what, what makes that her detail. favorite yeah. is I think that she's family orientated and all that stuff. Now yeah. I want to go back to Universal Studios. I think she got beat. Oh, no, no. No, I'll keep, I'll keep it like that. I'll keep it like that. Okay. What's the next one? Okay. Oh, I was going to, I was going to be with the Disney one. I feel like there's either two types. If that's her favorite, she's either very sweet. She's a sweet girl or she's pretty toxic and likes, likes to pretend that she's sweet. She likes to go to Disneyland and get in fights. <laughs> oh, she goes to Disneyland crazy. to take pictures with her favorite childhood stars. But if you can't hold the camera right, ooh, you're in some trouble. You're getting in a fight. Right you're not, you didn't get the picture right. Like, if you're not getting those. Yeah, yeah. She, she's got a, she's got a, uh, a little temper. A little temper. Yeah, that's like, two types, she's, man. She's very sweet and happy, but you better get that picture right. Or else you're fighting right there at the Disney Cafe, bro. Yeah. Yeah, because there's there's the girl where if you get it wrong, she's like, no, but not like that, babe. Just can you do it like this? And you're like, oh, yeah, baby. Are you a fucking idiot? And that's the other one. <laughs> and the other one's like, she punches what the Mickey. Fuck, babe, you had one fucking job. <laughs> Mickey's not doing the right push. I'm doing the fucking push. This is Mickey Mouse is so long. We can't go back. That was the perfect moment, and you fucking ruined it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now my childhood inside of me is dead. Oh, Jesus. All right, what's All the right. next one? Six Flags. Toxics. Really? Off the bat. Off the I think Adventure is. Off the dome. Cause they have the for me they have the best like thrilling rides. Exactly, she loves the thrill. She loves the argument. She wants to be feisty. What she likes to. Six I just think of adventurous. <laughs> nah, she, adventurous is what would be adventurous is like Knott's Berry Farm because you can go gold mining. But Six Flags, I feel like I know what he's saying. Come on, mess. The word is she's a, a thrill seeker, bro. Six Flags and they're all red. Six <laughs> Flags, yes. <laughs> She got many if flags. If she can ride those rides, she will ride your ride. And who are the most toxic ones that do that? Who rides, who's got, who rides the best toxic women? No, trust me. Six if, flags. If her red favorite flags. theme park is Six Flags, she's a rare diamond in the breed because oh. the, the, the most common ones are the most common ones. No, listen, bro. She likes them big thrill rides, bro. If you don't got that big thrill ride, she ain't thrilling with you, she bro. She got to drive all the way to Six Flags. Gotta, That's flag number one. <laughs> That she'll go that far to ride something. You can't, you can't, you can't tell <laughs> me that you hey, can't tell me you don't want to take that long drive with the girl that you like. No. You don't want to take that ride with that girl you like? And plus, it's going to be hot and the arguments are going to be steaming. It'll be hot at Disneyland or Universal no, as well. No, because Six Flags, you got to go up the hill. That hill fucking sucks. Where Tatsu is at? Yeah. That, that hill sucks. So, did you not forget what? that the Universal is on a hill? Yeah, but you don't got to feel, you don't feel that hill. The only time you're on that, they have escalators. And the, only time you feel that. And the times that they're off? You can, they're that's never not even off. that high. They're never off. It's fucking three stories down. Yeah, but they have three escalators and at and least one of them. Y'all don't be racing on those escalators? Nah. I do. That shit, but nah. Six Flags <laughs> doesn't have escalators. You got to go up the hills the whole Six time. Six Flags is harder too. Yeah. I never last a full day in Six Flags. I never last a full day in any of those at theme parks. <laughs> but what if she's from Knott's? Like a Knott's girl. Yeah, Bless so you. Knott's Berry Bless Farm. You. She's a thrill seeker. And she's very, like, you can count her, like, she's not bougie at all. Like, she's just down to have a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, do they sell buzz balls at Knott's Berry Farm? No. No, nah, but oh, she's pulling know. up with them. <laughs> uh, yeah, with Knott's Berry, yeah, exactly. Knott's Berry Farm, it's money friendly, that's eco friendly, cannot, right? You got, you got, you don't have to spend too much money. Um, it's very, let's go have a fun time. Very spontaneous. A Knott's Berry Farm is like usually spontaneous. It's quick too. It's like, yeah. Um, she's a cool girlfriend. Like, if, she, if she's down, to go to Nas Berry Farm, she doesn't complain. She's great. If she's the type to be like, oh, no, I don't want, let's go to Disneyland, red flag. But if she's down, if you take her Nas Berry Farm and she's having the best time of her life, Bro, she is. She loves Snoopy. Like, I'm always down. Girls for who it. love Snoopy are a green yeah, flag. I love them. Yes. I'm They're most likely down. teachers. I've noticed a lot of girls that are. Like Charlie Brown, Brown, Charlie Brown, bro. Charlie Brown's Christmas. I can't wait to watch that this I'm year. I'm always down for a Knott's trip, but all I'm saying, if your girl's favorite theme park is Knott's Berry Farm, then you're most likely an Edgar. <laughs> Valid. 
<laughs> if that's her favorite, it? remember her favorite theme park. That is valid. And you're most like then you are. You what if she doesn't serve? like theme parks? <sighs> How she's just boring. break up with her? Yeah. Why? Yeah, she's boring. Nah, I don't nah, like theme parks because nah, I don't like nah, roller coasters. Nah, nah, you're scared nah, of roller scared. coasters? I don't I'm like scared. them. No, you're scared. If I, you don't like them, that means you're let's scared. Let's go to. I went on one last time at Santa Monica. <laughs> he you is scared of them. That's right. He is coasters. scared of them. I forgot, uh, dude. He was scared of the one on the freaking Santa Monica Pier. Oh my god, so that, my boy was screaming. He's like, no, I don't like roller Guys, coasters. Hey, put the clip here. Put the clip I, here. I think they're dumb. Hey, put the block still up. Hey, you really with him? That block is still up, right? Yeah. No, just put the video over here. Beep. Whatever. What's Patreon? Oh. Was it Patreon? No, it was on YouTube. YouTube. Okay, then yeah, it's there. Boop. You can watch it. You can. Dude, I it remember was spinning at my five man miles was an hour. screaming <laughs> on the Santa Monica Pier roller coaster, bro. He was like, "Holy shit, <laughs> bro!" That <laughs> what, what's wrong with not liking roller coasters? It's not that you don't. You like know what? Roller no, coasters. it's okay. It's okay. What's, it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's, uh, fine. it's cool. It's cool. It's fine. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster okay right now. Girl, it's okay for a girl not to like roller um theme parks. If, if, too, if, okay, it's okay. I it's love okay. when girls don't like theme parks. You know why? Because that means you don't ever have to go on a date there. Yes. <laughs> That's where like thank God. I love. I will spend money going to Disneyland or Universal Studios, oh. and I'll ride all the rides. That's there. definitely an ick for a girl. Imagine like you get on a roller coaster <laughs> with your man, and your man is screaming, <laughs> and he's holding on to you. I did. I think I usually tell girls I don't like roller coaster is kind of at the beginning of talking and uh, yeah sometimes like yeah no i don't want to like keep it going are we missing one legoland she's oh bro young. she likes she's legoland you, bro she likes legoland she's like seven so leave her alone. Yeah. <laughs> i don't even want to add that in that. There. Yeah. Don't even that. that's just like who even i've I, never been to legoland i never thought about legoland have you ever been to legoland i've been there once so I've, never been to I've never been we should go it's because yeah. Oh no! Yeah, I just went. Yeah, we'll I be out of place, time. but yeah, I went just there because kids, and we'll be like in place. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> those <laughs> my little cousins. But fucking, are we missing one? There's nothing to do Lego then. What if she likes fucking like just probably not important enough? It's not the big ones. I.E. Staple, Scandia. Scandia, Her favorite bro. Theme park is Scandia. That shit's gone. Yeah, I think it was six. <laughs> there flags. is still one. Six Flags, Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, Universal Studios. That's and it. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Well, there boomers. You go. Huh? Boomers. Boomers? Boomers? Boomers is cool. <laughs> what does it say about her? Boomers is just dumb expensive for no reason, bro. Fiesta Village. <laughs> Never been a Fiesta Village. I don't know what they are. What if she just likes to be a calm girl and just game go, works. like a little mini golfing? Yeah. It's amazing. Damn, RIP um, game works. But I wanna I was the other day, I was uh I was on my guru shit and I was helping. I was literally just like in a whole guru mode and I was answering every fucking question. She was crazy. And I want to teach you guys how to be a high-valued man without being a high-valued man. Top G? Not top G, but the way you, the way you phrase things is so powerful. Oh, For yes. example, let's say you're lazy. In the mornings, it takes you forever to wake up, like to forever to get up. You're just lazy. You're like, don't, don't say you're lazy. Don't say it takes you forever to wake up. Say you like to meditate in bed before you get up. <laughs> Way better, dog. Oh my god, I'll just think this guy's spilling some bullshit. Nah, you're just meditating before you get up. Like instead of saying you're tired, you just be like, "Well, I just had a long day at work." Yes, because now you're like, "Oh wow, he works hard." And another thing, for people, for people who uh, don't eat till like twelve, just say like, "I'm fasting." I go to sleep at ten p.m. I don't eat till like twelve. One because I wake up at ten a.m. and I don't really eat till like two hours later. So just be like, "Yeah, I fasted." So instead of saying, oh, I'm, I'm not eating or I'm waking up late, it just goes with your fast. You're fasting. <laughs> you just remind me of the quote. I can't really quote it, quote it, but like it was a guy talking about like how like if you like want to win arguments more or if you want to or if you want just like conversations and you want to sound right about something, even though you're totally wrong, even though you 100 percent know you're wrong, but you want to make the person think that you're right mm -hmm. just phrase everything or say everything like if it's correct like make them believe that it's right even though you know for a fact that or you're add wrong. it like like a, to win conversations when you know you're absolutely wrong about the topic and it, whatever it is about just phrase it and sound like you're right and people are going to think that you're automatically right because you just sounded smarter than the other person i'd be messing googling. the answer yeah. i'd be googling <laughs> Like what's what's something what's that's something, exactly what you're doing right now. What's something you guys have trouble in your day to day life that you wish you can improve on? Timing. Going to sleep early. Timing. Timing. Yeah, like just trying to make more of my time, as in like not trying to run late so much to certain things. Wake mm -hmm. up earlier. Wake up. No, that's yeah. But sometimes you just struggle to wake up earlier. Sometimes. So you struggle to wake up earlier. Some. I, sometimes. Sometimes. So this is this is actually what's happening. 
you're not struggling to wake up earlier. Okay. You're giving your body the time it needs to rest mm. because you're listening to your body. Yeah. Right? If you're if you're able to wake up right away, it's because your body's able to wake up right away. But if you're listening to your body, that means take your time. Stop giving people excuses to be right? lazy. Yeah. But it's not yes, being lazy. excuses it, 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 to right? get lazy. It, it, it's not being lazy. We found it's, imposters. It's taking care of your body and listening to your body. Next, what would what, you need help with? I'm the guru. Or I guess, right you know, going to sleep early. I guess going to go sleep, sleep early. early. <laughs> These are exactly lessons good. of how to, make, how, to make, yeah. how to make myself sound like I'm doing more than what I'm So not. you want to sleep early. Really, what you're doing is you're having a really productive day. So you can't blame yourself for not being able to sleep early. <laughs> I know what you're doing, and I, 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 I we know I what you're doing. They understand what you're doing. Right. Too. You sound like that one stupid ass girl on the TikTok that got fried because she said that. Oh, I have time something, time blindness or something like that. She's literally blind to time. No, what, what he's doing? You seen that video? No, no, no. I know what you're doing, but you you literally are giving that girl an excuse. What he's what he's doing? He's just giving you guys. What, options of how it seems to like sound more professional when no you really see the not. glass half full instead of half empty stop doing it it's just getting annoying it's i not think that. that whole trick is different scenarios i think, I think what's going different on scenarios here, call for different ways you see the cup i think what's going right? on here is that you guys are so stuck in the society of matrix where you guys think you have to be on a certain grind 24 7 that you're giving yourself excuses we have to, a top to make yourself here. more applicable to society where really you just gotta chill out my boys i think your exposure of rhetoric is showing your philosophy no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> that's what i mean i'm not just sounding smart and that's the people are gonna no, think you're what right he, what he's doing it's like if you're texting a girl you literally just say these things and you don't seem like not on the top g you're that's basically all you're doing, trying to convince right? someone that you're right when you're wrong tell them because they're not understanding what's going on here <laughs> stop you're frustrating me. What's you're going not on even here? top g you're like top h right now you're more like <laughs> top ramen <laughs> everyone Dude. loves top ramen all right, Thank you for that. all right. <laughs> all right. You know, he knew that he thought that shit was a burn he was like all right <laughs> like you fucking know it it was top he's, you're being top ramen right now everyone loves top you're being ramen. a little hot right now that's what i mean by you're being too top ramen. <laughs> how am i being hot all right i think you're getting think frustrated because you we're not believing in your bs i think you just gotta take in the fact <laughs> that life doesn't stop for anybody exactly so you should keep going so you should listen to your body no you should relax <laughs> don't give these people more excuses to be more more lazy than not being lazy is. yeah it is it's not yeah i mean yesterday i did listen to my body i was gonna go on a run and i was like nah i party way too much this fucking weekend at splash house but yeah. imagine how much but you i didn't go how much i didn't go to the you, gym much, that's why that was my okay, excuse okay. if i didn't go i did go to the gym i didn't go run you can sweat out all those toxins I, I did. I did. Better. I did in my morning my morning gym sesh, but I'm running and going to the gym now, training and shit. And I smelled like Buzz Balls and Jose Cuervo at the gym. So yeah. I was like, Ugh. remember, it's not about how your body feels; it's about how you feel up here, buddy. No, nah, I felt like I was getting sick, yeah. and like three who's of my homies. Who's gonna carry the logs? Hmm? Huh? Not me. Where I look body? sexy while you carry yeah. the logs, though. <laughs> yeah. So that wraps up my little seminar. Don't do that ever again, please. I got scared. If anybody needs some advice, just hit me up. I'm gonna get advice. You're gonna get rhetoric. Where he just changes what he's saying, what you're saying I'm gonna make to you what feel he's better. saying. Check out my course. Well, you were all, well, everything you're, you're saying. You're literally a like, course master. You're like, <laughs> you're, 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 your, you're your old boss. It sounded like he was saying like, are you drunk or is everyone just too sober? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Happy dad guy. That sounds amazing, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, another thing I actually want to get to the bottom of, why is it that it's okay for women to bring out their sex toys during sex. Like if you're having sex with her, mm -hmm. she'll bring out her vibrator because it feels better. But once you bring out a pocket pussy, now you're a fucking weirdo. Once I introduce her friend, she's like, what the fuck? Yeah, like why can you use a vibrator on yourself, but I can't take out a pocket pussy and fuck the pocket pussy while you're like, while you're just, laying there. Why don't mm -hmm. you just, what? Why not? Okay. Why not? <laughs> why can girls bring out their toys and we can't? You're literally using a dildo on her. It's the same thing. It's just... A pocket pussy. I think no. He didn't say dildo. He said vibrator, which doesn't oh. have to go inside the girl. Just vibrates on. But it's the top still like. Of the pussy. Yeah, what about us? I don't feel that. Well, I mean, give me two things. One, she like loves your dick game, but or and she just want as she wants that extra fucking feeling to okay, it. Okay, I want that extra feelings. My pocket pussy is black, and my girl's white. <laughs> Why can't I have both of them? Oh, True, I Christ. can see what you're saying. I, completely I think agree. one is because you actually are doing something with the girl while she just adding a toy, like a vibrator. 
the other one is you're literally just fucking the, the pussy instead but what of if fucking you're, okay, her. What about just, using the dil- just say dildo this time. What about this? What if she wants me to nut, but my toy's a little tighter? So I get, it, I get the last couple pumps there, then I move over to her. Why is that a problem? Isn't that concerning? You tell me you're in. I don't know. Why don't you just do it next time you have sex with somebody and tell okay, me let's, how let's it look, feels? Let's look in the dildo. Let's get the dildo. Yeah, why, say why the can, dildo because Aaron got confused. Why can she use a dildo? If she's using a dildo while you're... You, that that's I don't know how that fucking even helps. You don't understand. You're in. not. She wants you to use the dildo on her, but you're not fucking her. Your wiener's just there. Oh, that's that's what's going on in this. How about a cock? I, I literally feel like, dude. I guess my dick game is terrible. I'll, if yeah. a girl ever told me just fuck me with this dildo, that's I'd be right. like, dude, just, just I'm leaving. Up. I'm leaving because I'm leaving with her dildo. With like me she can too. use her dildo all she just wants when up. I'm We're not there. Me. But like, if you need me to use it while like I'm here. Like or that's crazy. Another thing, her and her dildo are leaving. Together. Another thing, I want to complain about the about women, the, the sex. Remember, story, vibrator and dildos are two different industry. things. That's why. Why? Why do vibrators go all these different positions? They do all these crazy things, but a pocket pussy is just there. Why can't a pocket pussy suck back? Have you seen that shit that you put like this? It looks like fucking Optimus Prime, and it has like something here. And you press a button. I, like, oh, I think <laughs> they do have like actual. That like, like I think shakes. they do have like Vans toys for guys now, but, like they're, but they're bucks. like expensive as fuck. <laughs> Go, hey, take hey, my hey, you can literally look take it up on my, Amazon or all these like freaking sex shops. Just look, and there's advanced sex toys yeah, for men now. I'm talking about, right? It's like it's like blue and it's like and you just like hold it. Didn't I send you that yeah, fucking yeah, video when yeah, I saw yeah, it? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. and then I, I I was like, guys, who wants to help pinch in and all this bullshit? Like I was just fucking around, but like yeah, like remember, see, so there's there's stuff like that. But, but what if I take I it guess. out in front of a girl? But but what remember, if she's in my room? Remember, vibrators are just cheaper than those sex toys for men. What if I have my fucking Optimus Prime on this shelf and this girl comes over and she's like why do you fuck that you Optimus that? Primusi or what yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I got that Optimus Primusi of bro talking about so you get, if you want to put it on here I got yeah, so, you know, just things talk. I just want to talk about you know some concerning things I feel what like, happened well, do something something nah, hit yeah, something I, hit a nerve in you no nah, I, I was listening no, to no, a sex, no. that the sex therapist was telling about like sex toys but how do you have a sex therapist? I don't think it's. I don't think it's. it's I don't think it's one. weird if they bring out sex toys as long as like you guys are still actually. But you what know. if she brings out like ten? Like she's like eight. Yeah. I think Ooh. we're just dogs and it doesn't even matter. Yeah. You guys, I have yet for a girl to bring out a vibrator while I'm having sex with her. But if it ever does happen, I'll let you guys know how it felt. I've done it. It tickles. It tickles your little stomach area. <laughs> your little tum tum. Yeah, your little tum tum. Well, I guess because of the position you're in. Yeah, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was like, how did the fuck you touch your stomach? But yeah, that was a long time ago. Okay. Does, is it still here? Did she get Did it, it make you feel less of a guy, of a man, or I threw something? it away. I threw it away. No, oh, I didn't. Oh, okay. So yeah. then, how's that? A, how's a vibrator problem then, sir? No, nah, I just I just thought like, why can't we use pocket pussies? You know, I just because you're not actually fucking the girl. Okay, and because while she uses what the vibrator, she, you're seen, fucking the girl. Actually, what if she's using it to jerk you off? I've seen that porn video before. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Mm. Shout out, Victoria. Stepsis catches me. Shout, shout, shout out, Victoria June. <laughs> Victoria, oh fuck yeah! Who's you know she's got a month I, in her name. She's fucking bad. I, I only this, watch Victoria I love June this during podcast because you guys give me names and then I watch them at oh, night. Yeah. She's the one that uses that. She's the, that's the video you saw. I'm pretty sure there's more. Oh, well, that's the one I saw. All right. You guys got any last topics? But then I was like, wrap it up? Uh, no, fuck her. Can we so. talk? Do you guys know about that Zuck, Zuck versus Musk fight? Is that actually gonna happen for nah, sure now? It, it got canceled. It got canceled uh, now. Like, why did it get canceled? Why'd you put it there. Then you should have told me. I didn't write it. I didn't write it. I that's your writing. Oh no, I wrote it because I thought you had something to say about it. No, but yeah, I would have liked it. No, I got canceled. Why? We could call it. Re- Damn, they just son. realized this is bullshit. Yeah, Zuck, Zuck, or Zuck. He wasn't down. Oh, he was like, nah. Zuck versus Musk. That would have been fucking. That would have been dope. That would have been hilarious. But um, the next YouTube box, you know? <laughs> yeah. Are we cool? Battle of the billionaires. Who right. will win it all? Where, shout out wins? to, actually, shout out to the UPS drivers before we end this. Uh, oh, y'all are yeah. millionaires now. Yeah. If you're, um, if you're a UPS driver, go ahead and just subscribe to us on Patreon because I know you got it. Yeah, bro. No, you got There's it. There's a lawsuit. Motherfuckers got two, three houses by now. No, you know how much UPS years. drivers are making now? Like they're like in they five, up their they up their, their, their salary like, like in five years they're making like total like sixty k for like that's for like the base like employees that are just pulling like they're making new like, hires new hires they're making no, no, about, like, yeah the ones that are pulling out the boxes they're making about one hundred seventy thousand a year I think or one hundred the drivers or the year. people hire driver yeah that's the crazy drivers. bro like for starters or for like veterans you have, to, you have to be in there to a be a bit. UPS driver you have to be in UPS for about like five to ten years. Mm-hmm. So once you're ready a driver, you have all the benefits and you're making over 100K. I think it's a good thing, though, because people that like unload, like I know some like pretty old people that unload and I think it's nice that they're getting like full health care and stuff I do now. Because it's like, bro, he, this man's 45, 50 yeah. years old and like 
You know, give them a living sucks, wage. Though, five years to get full benefits. No, That's no, no. Crazy. It's like in the span of five years, the total after. So pretty much they're getting all the benefits, but in the span of five years, they will keep getting raises up until okay, they get a total yeah, yeah. of that. And but yeah, but to be a driver, you got it's seniority, so you got to be there for like five. Yeah, you got to have years. seniority. Oh, okay. Yeah. But shout out to all y'all. I know some yeah. of you guys listen to us. And, yeah, we got yeah. some drivers. Shout out to the drivers. Shout out to all the warehouse workers too. Yeah, and I hope the next move is Amazon. I hope Amazon somehow gets because Amazon fucking blows. And their fucking owner is the richest dude in the world. So he can definitely pay these guys way more. He's not the owner anymore. Jeff Bezos doesn't own Amazon he anymore? He stepped down as CEO a long time ago. He just has shares now in that company. Well, anywho, they still got a shitload of money. Amazon's being fucking delivering every day. So they should up the pay for Amazon. But imagine seeing, your, imagine seeing a fucking UPS worker pulling up, dropping a package Shit. with a fucking diamond Cuban link. And it says UPS. <laughs> it's like a little box. Yeah. It's insane. Everybody gets a team chain. <laughs> I, I know that's true. Now I got to look this up just in case I'm <laughs> on your fifth year. Hey, hey, come inside, big big bro. Yeah. Okay. Welcome to UPS. The, the parking <laughs> lot at UPS is a bunch of exotics. <laughs> Crazy. Got a Maserati. Like, like, when I found that out, I was like outside of the In-N-Out like, line. And I looked to my left and it's like this sick ass. Like, over, like I knew that truck was like over yeah. 100K. Yeah, UPS a, driver comes out. I was like, yo. Got the scat pack. I'm about to quit this spot. Yep. Oh, okay, yeah. So, yeah, he stepped down in 2021 as CEO. He's just an executive chairman now for the company. He stepped down the year before COVID? No. Oh, no, 2020 is COVID. I mean, even though you step, step down and you're the, if you're still a majority shareholder, you technically still, own the majority And of he's the also company. a part of the board. He's executive chairman there on go. there. You don't oh, have to he did it because he wanted to, like, um, he wanted to, like, focus more on, like, other projects and Going ventures. Going to space. Yeah, his space exploration. Y'all going to space if it's available? His rocket manufacturing company, Blue Origin. No, nah, yeah, I'm not so going to space. That's really the only reason why he stepped down is because he wanted to focus on fucking space. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, you know who I want to focus on? Our, our friends. Our friends at Patreon. Yeah. You guys want to go f- check out Patreon if you don't That's know what exactly Patreon is? exactly what I want to be glazing all yeah. over. If you guys want to know, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's another website where you can watch exclusives of IE and Friends. And this episode, or whenever you see this coming up, is uh, Caesar's fun adventure at Splash House. Yeah, I want to Splash House, y'all. And honestly- and they got very wet. I got the pools weren't the only thing that were getting me wet. You know yeah. what I mean? That's I hope you recorded that. All right, so go check, check out, out Patreon. Patreon. Uh, we're gonna shout out our friends at Patreon. Finally, some porn on our Patreon. We're gonna start off with Robert Two Hoochie. What hey, up, Robert? How Hoochie are you? Then we got Ale. What up, Ale? What's up, Ale? How Hoochie? And are we you? got Jen. What up, Jen? How Hoochie? We should are we should you? start saying we should try to name what fucking um theme park they will go to. All right, Vanessa Cruz for this episode. Farm. <laughs> Alex Galindo Universal yeah. Fidel the Billionaire Menaces Six Flags Who's going to fucking Disneyland Orlando and shit Jonathan Disneyland Disneyland Breezy Huera Loquita Nots. Six Nots Flags very Nots Six Flags Six Flags, Six flags. Toxic. Toxic Six Flags Nuts. Huera Loquita It's in the name Nuts. Abigail <laughs> Aguilar Abigail Disneyland. Disneyland David Naranjo Universal. Universal Gloria Maravilla Disneyland Disneyland, Disneyland. Disneyland 100% yeah. 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 Isaac Bustos mm, Universal at the fucking LA Fair <laughs> Oh yeah Lucero Chavez uh, Universal Nods Nods I say Nods You let us know Jesus Guzman Six Flags Toxic yeah. Maria Felipe it's Universal Universal Karen Cita Disneyland Disneyland for sure Big Booty Latina Dahlia Universal Disneyland She won't even complain She, she can be at my fucking water park. She can. I want to make she her. She be your water yeah, park. She be my water park. Raging waters, bro. Raging waters. <laughs> <I wanna, laughs> Razor Ramon wanna, Hedges Flores. Disneyland for sure. Sandra Gonzalez. Sorry, nots, bro. Oscar Martinez. Universal. Kike y la novia. Kike Perez. six he's like, dude, dude. Nah, he's nah, Disney. He gets me like Disney. he's scared of roller coasters. Yeah, I think I feel like Kike's. Are, we I feel like I feel like Kike likes Kike. the chill vibe, so he's at Disney. Yeah. yeah. Liliana Juarez. Liliana Universal. That's nots, bro. Nots, okay. Eileen. Eileen, That's Disneyland. Disneyland. And Bradley Lopez Martinez. My boy's everywhere. everywhere. He's at all four of them. Yeah. He, go fuck. he got the bag. He like got that. the passes for yeah, all of them. He got passes for every park. And now this man probably owns a theme park. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. You already know who it is. He has he yeah, he owns all of them. He has the top pass for every fucking park. His name is Alvaro Benitez. Yeah. yeah. Alvaro. Yeah. Thank you. My guys. boy. He's slanging that cat. He's slanging. He's fucking Minnie Mouse for sure. For sure. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this today's episode. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow me on every social media platform at Saul V. Gomez. Follow me at I Know Caesar. Airbear underscore IE. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next week. Blah, 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 blah.